Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Dork Vision stream. Um, we are here normally every Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Icewind Dale game, uh, and this stream happens on Sundays from 9 p.m. to midnight. I have books on DriveThruRPG and the DMs Guild. You can support me on Patreon slash NobleCrumpet, and be sure to join us in the Discord in the Crumpet Kingdom. Uh, with all that goodies out of the way, let's get back into what happened last time. You guys entered, or rather, uh, you were exploring the cafeteria of the, uh, the cultist's tower here in the Hellhor Throne, um, and fought some, like, uh, beholder dudes in there, uh, looted some gems from a giant statue of a pit fiend, uh, ascended the stairs, entered, uh, this sort of choir where, uh, everything is completely silent under the effects of a silent spell, um, and fought some more beholder-looking things in there, shooting rays of ice and fire, uh, but not before you guys came face-to-face -face with this other sort of ritual chamber where a dragon was being summoned back from the dead. Uh, it's two people that you had become intimately familiar with and thought that you had killed for good back in Famladan. Um, but they have returned, uh, for now. Uh, the battle's well underway. Reed is, uh, dying, and Myra is surrounded, but Zimasu's also very low. So, we're gonna... Shut the fuck up. Someone keeps honking outside. Also, the dragon got sent back. The dragon yes. was sent back before the ritual was completed. Um, it was just a mere image of force rather than, like, an actual full-fledged dragon. Anyway... We are technically in the middle of combat. I believe we went right before the, the dynamic duo began their turn. So let's get it off from there. Uh, okay. So it is Reed's turn. I'm going to do a death save for him. That's good. I will keep record of that. Uh, okay. And now it's Myra's turn. Ooh, what can we do here? Uh, at this point, she is going to run towards Reed, which does open her up to an attack from Zumasu, uh, but she runs towards the fallen Azer, screaming, Reed, no! Do you want to use your reaction, Zumasu? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah I'll it... use my reaction, sorry. Okay, you don't have to if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll attack. Okay. Alright. Uh, that hit. That is surely a hit. And she takes the one damage from the cold, I'm guessing? Uh, she, yeah, she's resistant to cold, but <laughs> I think this it's, happened last time, too. It's just, it just rounds up. <laughs> it rounds up to one, because we round up here. Uh, so what's, what's the total damage you got? 22. 22. Okay, she's going to take half the total damage. Uh, because she is under the effects of a spell that prevents some of the damage. Mm. Uh, a magical force field kind of deflects some of your blow as you attack the retreating Myra. She runs Would over I to Reed. be able to tell what kind of spell it is? You can attempt with an arcana check. Sure. I've seen magics. Maybe I've seen this magic? You have not seen magic like this. It seems more powerful than you're used to. Okay. She runs towards Reed um, and ducks down, uh, touching her hand to his chest. She looks up at Paranor and says, Get your hands off of him! And she begins casting a spell. Counterspell. It, you're in a room with silence. Can you do so? Can someone else please count? Sumasa, do you spell. have your reaction? I don't have my reaction. That's Simon's unusual. Hmm. God damn it. Okay. Mao, Donatello, can you guys cast... <laughs> Owner spell. Okay. <laughs> Definitely but not. Question uh, clarification from Can I see uh, uh, Myra? Um, she's pretty obscured here just because of the doorway in the hall and the doorway. Because, like, she's here and you're, like, here. Um, sorry, were there. What was the question? Um, Can, just. A yeah. clarification, because I I thought we double-tapped him for Reed. 
last time? No. Am I yet. mis? No, he we didn't went down just this yeah. last turn, I believe. Oh, okay. We were intending to double tap. There was um, there were because there were other people that were in the area. So I remember I moved out so I wouldn't get attacked by them because they're oh, okay. Yeah, we were still technically in combat. Was the whole thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. So Chris, uh, yes or no on the scene? Um, you were I'll deliberating. I'll yep. say I'll say that. Uh, what are you trying to do? I have counterspell. Oh, you have counterspell. You're in You're a room with in silence. A room silence. Right. Wand. He has, he has the wand, but I think the wand would still the require verbal. The wand enables me to cast it. It's not a. Yeah. It point at half. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ruling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then the spell goes off unhindered. She, uh, like a sort of portal to a sort of watery whirlpool opens up in the ground and she sinks into it. Oh, Fine. We'll finish this another time. You won't be taking him from me like you've taken everything else. They both sink into the whirlpool and she casts plane shift. She got more than one action. Oh, more wait, than one action. Kill. She, she didn't, didn't do anything. Him. No, she just whisked she him ran. away. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, why you had the attack of opportunity, because she just ran. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, uh, combat ends. There's nobody else here to kill. Okay, let's... Uh, I need to quickly... Yeah, I'm gonna just um, use feature to keep Maria from bleeding out. She gets the d4, so that's gonna give her, I guess, one blink. Alright. That's right. There's some people here that are... They got hit with a, yeah, they got hit with a dragon's breath. So when it was yeah. going to be my turn, I was going to do the... my. I have to look up the term of it, but uh, it's the, I get the D4 to use it for the warlock thing. Right. You hold out your hand, and your blessed healing light restores these people back to their at least uh, healthy. It keeps them from being unconscious. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, oh, sorry. It's hard to hear you sometimes, Amon. Can I use a potion of healing, please? Yeah, sure. What kind? Normal? Yeah, normal. Eight hit points. It's okay, I'll, I'll turn you up, I'm on, so I can hear you more consistently. Alright, um, so you distribute some healing. Uh, the... How many dice are you spending, uh, Zumasu? I'm just spending one. Just one? Okay, well that'll give them at least one healing point, I'd venture. Yeah, that's kind of was the sense. Okay. I, you guys find yourselves, uh, now that you have a chance to sort of explore this room. Um, also, I'll get rid of the turn order because we're out of combat. Do we want to take a short rest or have we taken a... No, well, we've already taken a short rest we already. already took so... one a little while ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we're... we're not looking great. Yeah, we're not looking good. Mm. And there still might be other people down the, the hall. Thankfully, they can't hear you. No, but if they so are Maria, around, then two checks. Yeah, I'm motioning for everybody. We close the door so nobody can see us. Um, I'm going to just search the room real quick, see if there's anything useful. Yeah, I was going to mention that um, now that you have the chance to observe this room, um, the hallmarks are the uh, center has a stepped, uh, like a tiered dais, uh, at the top of which is a arcane sort of symbol. You guys have seen it before, at least Uncrash is able to recognize it, um, because they're able to trace such things with their mimicry mimicry trait. Um, You recall seeing a similar one that was in the sewers um, beneath the, the, what's it called? The empty sheath. Uh, The brothel. The brothel. Uh, It's a symbol of Mephistopheles think Mm -hmm. um as well there are two large bronze statues of a horned devil holding up a scroll with like a pact written on it in infernal um they are wielding in their other hand a uh like a triple ransour that forks outward at at its head and uh at the base of this room there are lines of blood uh, pooling out from underneath That's... the dais and into grates in the walls of the chamber. That's the, what that is? The room is lit by uh, candles. Mm. 
blood. So blood can I look it. for any useful items of any variety? Anything left over, maybe? Doesn't look like there are any useful items in here. The room right. was mostly just filled with these cultists and whatnot, and they don't and the seem to have much are, on them. Yeah, the cultist bodies was still technically just chilling around. They are there. Okay. They're they're just you know hanging out. I got rid of them for expediency. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say we. Puddle. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say we moved them into the corner so somebody who peers in wouldn't see them immediately. <laughs> sure. Drag them over here and I'll I want yeah. to read the contract, whatever that infernal thing is written. Not out loud, just in my head. Yeah, and I just want to cast a spell once you're done with that. Sure. Um you read and translate the strange like scroll uh that the statue is holding. It seems to be going over a sort of ritualistic um, like almost a motto uh, pledging your service to Mephistopheles uh, that your friends are just tools that you will use to further your ends until the Lord wishes that they be ended um, it's a club motto? really? Kind, kind of, something like that you recall it well Creed? because you actually uh, are able to sort of finish the rest of the lines even as you're translating it You've Lord heard this before. Thing. Right. Good. You sort of know the lyrics. <laughs> now, is that a melody you're saying? Is that what? It seemed like you you knew that before. You had like a flow to it. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Something from my past, probably. She's just a rap god. She just knows the flow. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do or um, prayer of healing the one minute spell third level slot for a warlock slot so I can get some health. Okay. Um, how much does that heal to everybody? Or it's Aura Vitalita. I'm not I'm not targeting everybody. I'm going to just do a targeted on myself. I'm doing Aura Vitality, actually. That's the... I get um, one minute of a 2d6 per round. Okay, um, and then you target it? Yeah. And okay. I was just going to choose myself, since I'm looking pretty bad, and I'm the tank. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, if you want to do it round by round, you could do the advanced die roll thing and assemble a roll, and just hit the button multiple times. Yeah, I'm it's like two d six plus wisdom, or plus right. charisma. No, it's, it's just two d six. It's useful okay. because it's just a bunch of them. Got it. Um, just gonna throw yeah. it out there. As many questions you guys ask, I don't remember any of this shit. I blocked all this out. So right. this is all kind of new. Okay, so that's five. I get forty six so far. I might just still target myself. Guys, I'm gonna burn through all my uh, first level slots. Um. Uh, to get uh, get three uh, cure wounds out, so uh, I think one's gonna go to me. Uh, should the other two go to the followers, or should it all go to me? Or actually, Mao. I would like one, maybe. Okay, so this is for you, Mao. So plus uh, uh, um, plus five, so that's uh, eight. Um, if I target Maria with one of these charges, does she get one thing back? Because it'd be 2d6? Sure. Okay, I'll use the last charge on her, so I'll just... don't really need to roll it, but... Yeah, set her to two. Can. Yeah. Okay, I'm at, least at, I'm at least at 88. I can tank a few hits. I'm gonna kill Yondo, so he's at two. Okay, you can set him to that. All I right. also have um, a Cure Light's Wounds from my Rod of Seven Parts. So, does anybody want that? Maybe Mal. She's looking pretty rough. Have you yeah, used that today? Lower. I don't know. For some reason, I, I feel know. like you used it in the ice room. But I don't remember. No, um, Hellfire. That's it had like Hellfire. Probably, yeah. Okay. It had, it had a different spell. And I think you used Fly with the seven parts? The one of seven parts? Yeah, she constantly flies around and then... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's at will, out. and I have magic resistance. It gives me a bunch of things, but in terms of the spell, um, oh, also, Mao, I did use haste on you. Yes. So I That's still what have I did that. Use. How long does that last? One minute. Yeah, you... Oh, so it's gone. So it's Bye. Fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speed! Yeah, you're uh, exhausted for one round. <laughs> That's why I had to go read. Uh, halfway through your speed reading, you just went, oh... Okay, we're back to normal. Um, and you're doing also, the thing where you're at the same paragraph like over again. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so, Boom Crash, I think that Cure Wounds is like third level? 
Or is it higher? Yeah, that's it's third level, that's all. Okay. Who are you casting it's it? Still good. Uh, I'll do it for Mal. Because... Yeah, that's probably, good. that's probably a good idea. She ain't looking great. I'm yep. fine. Better Everybody's than a little worse for wear. Most of you, yeah. Oh, I forgot I have potions of fire breathing. How long do these last? Da, 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 da. One hour. Okay. I think you mute, Chris. Yeah, kind of out of healing stuff. Uh, I was going to ask Booncrash if you needed a new token. Uh, uh, what happened? Oh, I thought you were replacing <laughs> it or something. You just disappeared. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is weird. I was like, oh, where is she? I... Okay, here I am. That's where I was. Yep. <laughs> okay. Are you casting that, and if so, on who? And uh, do we roll dice for it? Um. Yes, I am casting it. I have not rolled dice because I don't know what dice to roll. And I think I, I said I chose Mao, but I realized I probably wasn't pressing the thing. Okay, so it's 3d8. Plus your spellcasting ability modifier. You can choose which one in your case. It's either charisma or intelligence. Uh, Mal, I can give you one greater healing potion. Or you could hold on to it in case I go down and I need that. I have a, I have some, I have a superior left and I have two healing gems left. That's why I'm giving you the greater for now. Let me double check because I think I also have stuff too. I'd rather, I mean, you're tankier, so if you can stay up longer, it's better for you to have more of the potions. Okay. I, have, I essentially have two gems and three potions left. Yeah, I have one one greater healing potion and one gem. Two gems, one potion. And they're not high level at all. Yeah. yeah. They're uh, get up and keep fighting buttons. They're Sometimes get up or run, like maybe. Yeah, I have one greater healing gem. Um, I'm gonna give you a uh, regular healing potion sheet just to have for the backup. Okay. All right. Just a boot juice. All right. He's just so he just has that in his back pocket. Um, Chris, uh, potion of growth. How long does that last? Uh, I think an hour. But we'll check. Large effect for one d four hours. Okay. And if somebody okay. was enlarged in here, they couldn't fit through the doorways or what? Uh, they could fit through the doorways by squeezing. Because you okay. can fit through a space <laughs> one uh, one size category smaller by squeezing. So it just means if you stay there and fight there, you will have disadvantage and people will have advantage. Is okay. he going to be a big boy? I was going to hand off one of the potions to Maria to have for later. Oh, uh, so one... she can reprise her role as a uh, big lady? Big lady. As big lady. And I was going to give one to Amon in case he wants to punch with a distance. Well, uh, what was it? Uh, potion of growth. Um, just in case you want to drink it in an encounter. I think I have a potion of growth. Oh. Oh. Gonna note Maria has one then. Well, if you remain grown for more than four hours, you need to let somebody know. You need to let the mages know mm. or else you need to talk to your cleric. Heavy sigh. Anyway, okay. have we finished our bookkeeping? Yeah, that should be fine for. All right. Um, it's going to say Mao. Um, I'm skipping can, along to go to the the thing over here. As you uh, ascend the dais, Don, Donnie kind of moves out of the way. Whoa, righteous dude! Um, you gaze into the symbol, and a vision sort of comes to you. Um, oh my God. I want to smudge it and get rid of it, damn it. A vision from your past. You recall your child self uh, performing vile acts on this dais at the urging of your master, uh, Cormac. The bald-headed Magus uh, whipping you for not doing what you were told as... Um, you were, you were made to do many things, mostly torturing I'm other prisoners. Smearing uh, this as much as I possibly can, just like trying to rub away the entire insignia. Your eyes are going red as you try to rub this out, just as you rub the memories from your brain. That's, what, that's exactly the attempt. 
kid, can, we can tell Mal's like having a little issue here, right? Yeah, I'm having like a little temper tantrum going on right now. This is kind of like chill walking and then temper tantrum. You're like, the fuck? I, I'm gonna motion over for Boom Crash and I'm just gonna kind of help approach and put my hand okay. on your shoulder. Boom Crash uh, sort of tugs on Mal's sleeve gently um, and says, Here, hon, you're not alone. Uh, l- let me help. And she casts press- Prested Agitation to try and clean up the paint on the ground. Conjure a little broom that starts sweeping away things. <laughs> I, I take out my soap and I'm just like, uh, let's see if this helps. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this is always just like, Boom Crash just waves their hand and Zumasu gets on his hands and knees like Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> I have my soap. I guess I can help. Boom Crash, use your broom to get this spot. It's really Mal, tough. Uh, yeah. As your friends aid you, make a charisma check with advantage. Okay. Charisma check. Check. Not a save. Okay. Check. Eek. What do you need saving from? Because apparently, this is where it all started. So where it went down. Um, through your uh, through your memories and your rage, your friends kind of steady you for a moment. You're able to recall things a bit more clearly and calmly. Um, you can see in your memories, um, that there was another person there next to you this whole time while you were being whipped. Someone who looks strangely familiar, like someone that you might have seen in perhaps a long lost vision brought on by a psychic episode. Um, you think that this might be Briarius next to you, but... Does he look like a nerd? No. Okay. They almost look like you. Almost realize that some of your past visions of your horrid acts may have been of Briarius, your twin. What? So it's like you didn't necessarily do all the bad things, you only did some of them? You start to remember that you were oh very severely punished for never following through. But your brother was always able to get the job done. Yeah, well, good for him. You fucking asshole. Isn't that kind of more tragic? Because that means that she didn't necessarily have to become a killer. It's just the shot she thought she already was. Mm-hmm. Apparently she was... Well, no, she needs training. Apparently she was bad at it, so... <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's Mal looking? For being right? Yeah, how's Mal looking? We already know she's That's distressed. up for Mal. Uh, very... Like, kind of like that, that teary-eyed sort of look, like, just sort of struck of just not really sure what's going on, but just that stupid, like, zoning out gaze of, like, oh, fuck. It's just kind right. of, like, almost says under her breath, it was him? Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, remember... To. Yeah, no, be like, all right, remember the, the Ar- Arcana Loth? In the library, from yeah. Crash. Yeah. Uh, well, the whole brother thing. Mm-hmm. I think he's actually my brother. Not oh. like a cult thing of oh, we're all in this together, orphans. No, I think he's actually my brother. Oh. And that fucker looks like me, so I actually don't really know. I don't know what's my memories right now. I'm really kind of lost, but I want to hurt someone. Okay, well, we can make hurting someone happen. We are in a castle of cultists. But we can also sort through this in time. Mm. Remember, blood doesn't make family. Choice does. This is true. Does that mean you saw some of his stuff then? Maybe. Was I'm gonna guess not much of it was good, right? No. No. Pretty much all of it. All of the, I mean, if all the bad memories are all him, no, none of it's good. I mean, that means that at least some of those memories aren't you actually doing those kind yeah, of things then, right? but that also means the fucking little shit was sitting there doing all the good stuff so that I can get thrown under the bus. What do you mean by good stuff, Mal? You made it seem like the stuff he was doing was terrible. No, no, no. <laughs> well, to the cult, that's what they wanted, so... If he's the bright, shining devil boy that's going to turn into the vessel, 
right? Of course they're going to praise him, and if I don't do it, then I get smacked for it. I mean, I wouldn't envy him. We'll kick his ass soon, aren't we? That's the whole Hopefully. reason we're here. It's just more of a... I'm not trying to say he did the right decision. Maybe it was just he's trying to survive. But it's more of a fuck off. Like, didn't no. even try to break away? I mean, that's why we're here to beat him up. You're, you're you got bitter. us now. You're just bitter that you're the Nebula instead hey. of Gamora. <laughs> Yeah, Nebula should have just tried and killed Thanos when it was when he had the chance. I remember that scroll. That was a good story. It's actually it's a really weird. that's a great comparison because I was thinking it was like the same thing with like Nebula and Gamora. Like he, he didn't even try to like help. Okay. Like, he wasn't a sibling. He didn't do that. He just did his own thing so that he could get the praise. You're just Father, awkward. love me. Fuck off. No, I like my other daughter who fucking sucks and hates me. <laughs> Pretty much. <sighs> You're just, you're just salty because you didn't get any cybernetic implants for your failures. What are you talking about? They put a thing in my head. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> we literally removed it. It was a whole thing. I, I, she grabs her earring, which is the, the bead that was you now an earring. Just kind of like hides it a bit, bleeding on her fist. Yeah, that one. All the more reason to have more motivation to beat up a baddie. I know Boomcrash will take it join that. We'll help you do what you need to do. Ready to burn this whole place down? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to so that. Are I just kind of look at all the iconography. Burn this place down, or are we still investigating yeah. the room? No, I think, I think we're good here. As I fucking kick the. Wait, Amon, do you need some important. healing? Because you don't look so good either. Yes, but the uh, I got thirty hit points. I'll be fine. Uh, do we do we mind spending one more minute? Still yeah, it's just two minutes, right? It's probably been maybe a few minutes now, I, but I can do another aura vitality. I'm down to one last third level, but I kind of think you should be more than 30 hit points. <laughs> All right. Does at least have death ward. Yes, that's true, but still. All right, so I'll first try out with eight dice, so that's four. Get 32. Okay, if you are eight. becoming experts of the two minute rest. Pretty much. I'm wasting my resources here, though. <laughs> well, no, it's useful. Um, that's another 31. Then I have two more. Then I have four more D that I can use. What are you at now? Um, kind of how do you? Right now, so okay, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, at this point, spread it around to. Well, actually, don't give it to the minions because uh, 2d6 is pretty good healing. Or it's a uh, 4d6 left. Um, okay. Uh, four. Uh, spread it between you and me. How about that? Okay. I'll give you two. I'll give myself two. Here's for you. Hey, oh, Max. good, Max. Here's for me. Yeah, okay, that's good. not bad. Still right. Yeah. Darn. Okay. I was hoping for like a Snake Eyes and a Boxcars kind of split. <laughs> that would, that would have been great. The duality of Can we switch some of our dice? <laughs> <laughs> You're just we so compassionate, kinda... Zumos. We discovered that all of our dice have been replaced with like a every single uh, D whatever is just Max crit and. Max one. That's that's just called switching it for coin flipping. Ah, <laughs> eh, D twenties are pretty much a coin flip anyway, depending on modifiers. Anyway, um, <laughs> you guys heal yourselves up a bit and steal yourselves for the trials ahead. I assume you exit. I can uh, hold on to the retainers if you want me to. I can like put them in a cube and then drag them along behind drag you. Drag them along. Okay, that might be worth it. I'll check the door first, just to make sure that... Assemble the NPC cube. Oh, I just thought of something. Since, um, what is it? Paranor always has issues with ranged attacks being one of her charges. Can we say she picked up a crossbow when we go through this hallway? Uh, oh, from one of the sure. Others. I can yeah. give them that real quick. Just so she doesn't always have to use her charged-based attack. That's fair. Thank you. What's a crossbow's range? Like... It's a light crossbow. Can somebody look up on the range on that while I assemble yeah, this? Up. I guess that okay. it's pretty far. Uh, I think they're proficient because they an artificer would be. So a uh, light crossbow uh, is uh, eighty uh, long distance, max distance of three hundred twenty. Yeah, it's also a simple weapon, so pretty much anybody can use a light one. The heavy one's the one that requires martial, I think. Hey, okay, and it's a D eight for a light crossbow. Yep. 
Yep. I have that is. now. I will. Oh well, I don't really have enough macros for them, so I'm not going to bother with a macro. All right. Cool. They are ready to go. Open the door into the choir of stilled tongues. Hmm. Is it stilled or chilled? Stilled. Okay. As in they can't move. You Can you tell move? that I was making this while I was uh, playing Blasphemous? Yes. <laughs> a giant bell sweeps through the room. Jesus. But we can't oh, hear I it. I hated that so much. It lagged the game. It... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to start sneaking through. I know there's a door that was on the right where people there's were There's a door from. on the right. There are many doors to the north. And the end of the hallway, there is a, a slightly larger door. Hmm. I'm just going to go to the right first and check over here. The Fires door's crackle open, so silently. everyone could see. I'm just putting in Lena visible here and look outing with her. Sure. I'm going to get on the carpet. Right. Uh, now you open this door and you can see a more plain looking hallway with stairs leading down to another door. This room doesn't look as decorated. It's more of a liminal space than a worshipping sort of space. I gesture to him on, like, this is not the way by making, like, a cross in front of me. And then I start pretending to, like, walk down, like, miming. And I come back to him. Okay, I gotta do... Okay, thumb, I gotta nod at, <laughs> nod at her. So I'm just gonna point down the hallway at this point. Because we want to keep going up. I guess I'll look through the doorway and see people moving, and I'll start going through the hallway, too. Yeah, I start... I'll dress your everybody to, like, move. And the moving on north. Lena's gonna follow by you to, like, cover your other side type thing. All right. So, like, if she sees something, she'll then, like, turn around and fly towards you. Mm -hmm. Since there's no volume. Yeah, there's no, there's no sound here, so I'm just going to, like, use hand gestures that are, like, very, like... They don't mean anything, probably, but I'm trying my best, so I'm just, I'm, like, pointing at my eyes, and I'm pointing at the door that I'm in front of. So I gesture everyone to kind of, like, gather are, in are case there's people. Like the, the SWAT team, three yes. biggies, like, thing. <laughs> but it, I'm trying to do, like, very basic, so it's, it's, like, eyes, doors, walking, stuff like that. You head up to one of the, uh, just count them, 12 doors flanking this hallway, um, and get close together. Put your ear up to the door for a moment before forgetting that this room is completely silent. I was just going to open it, because I knew it was silent. But then I need to see, like, what's inside. Then you kick open the door, which might have a, a slightly unusual hitbox because of the way that this room has been perspectived. Um, but regardless, it opens into a small room, no more than, like, 15 feet by 10 feet, um, with a stone desk uh, at the far end, a continual light, like a magical light, just sort of shining light onto everything. There's a bunch of, like, like pads and papers on the desk, uh, an ink pen and quill, and there is a mirror on the wall uh, that has a sort of, like, um, less lustrous image to it. It's almost like there's shadows moving within. On the wall, there are some stone shelves uh, sort of carved into the wall, and they are just set with dozens of uh, scrolls covered with notes, handwritten. Interesting. Uh, I, I make like a click noise with my tongue to see if I can make sound in here. Do I hear anything? Hear no noise. Okay. I'm gonna take that mirror if possible. I'm gonna put that face down on the table because it's creepy. Uh, you attempt to move it from the wall. It does not move. All right. Well, I'm just gonna leave and close the door. <laughs> or I'll leave it. I'll leave it open so people can like see it and be like gesture to Zumosu, like, a closed door by, like, putting my hands together. Okay, I'll walk yeah, over. I think Crash should see it, because uh, it should be hanging behind you, just in case, because she has I just want a like, magic eye look in that room to see what the deal is, since I can use magic eye to tell what kind of magic it is, at least. Okay, assuming you probably cast that out of the room, um, and well, kept it persistent. Uh-huh. We never really questioned how that works because it's like a it's like a allows you to thing. detect magic at will yeah like it, it allows you it... to cast detect magic at will okay All so right. you, you cast it outside you have like 10 minutes or so of it okay so you maintain concentration and you're able to look inside the room the magical light is emitting magic um the pe pens and papers 
uh, all over the place. They are non-magical. The, um, the mirror, however, is magical. It is emitting divination magic. I'm going to pick up the pen and paper just so we have a way to communicate while in silence. Smart. Yeah. All right, you have a pen and paper. Well, a quill, an ink pen, and some paper. There's plenty of blank pages. <laughs> I just looked at the boom crash so I could talk in her head like, this place is fucked up. This place is so fucking weird, dude. Do you want to do this door? And she sort of walks up to the one that is across the hallway from it. Should we check all of them just to clear? I, part of me wants to, but I don't trust that part of me. <laughs> We should get everybody to at least go to a door. We can all line up and start opening them kind of like multiple That's fair. at a time. I'm going to quickly just write down this on the piece of paper and pass it to everybody so that Boomcratch doesn't have to do a pew 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 pew. I can put somebody at each door if that's a plan you want to do, but yeah, I'll yeah. wait and see what Zimos yeah. is saying. Oh, I was just saying for expediency, like instead of Boomcratch yeah. telling everybody, we, we say I just wrote a note and show everybody. Oh, sure. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, one of each of you goes to uh, each door, then you open them simultaneously. You can open the retainers as well. I oh, found no. someone. Oh, Maria found someone. We are still technically in robes, except for... No, are the retainers in robes? I don't know if the retainers are in robes. I, I don't think so. I they think were they... kind of hanging behind. You yeah. have plenty of robes to choose from, but... They also no, I think Paranor and Maria are, but I don't think Donatello is, because you would look dumb anyway. Yeah. They also have your descriptions, it seems. Um, I might need to kaiser sure. myself after this. <laughs> Maria and Yamdal open their doors slightly, uh, and they can see somebody inside. They are inattentive. They are looking uh, at their mirrors and writing things down. Uh, every once in a while, one will like touch the mirror and then bow, like bow their head a bit, and you'll see like. Um, like words transmitting backwards on the mirror. Maria's probably mm. gonna noticing that there's no sound. Try and stealth and go for a snack attack. Go for a snack. <laughs> go for a, a sneak oh, attack no. snack. Sure. You look like a snack. Unless she fails, I'm gonna guess that probably hits. Uh, yeah, she stabs the guy silently. Blood splatters onto the mirror and to their work, and they keel over dead. Yom will probably do the same thing, but from a distance, cause. Yamdal takes one step back and then uh, oh. well, they have advantage because they were okay. unseen and this other guy goes down. Nobody hears what happens so I probably just close my door because nobody's in there and start walking over like oh this door's open and see Maria just kill the guy. Yeah yeah, we're all just like looking around confirming and we see Yamdal with his bow out. And Yamdal just kind of salutes disappeared. you guys with two fingers. I'm just going to go in because you said there was stuff. Did the stuff disappear off the mirror? Um... The stuff does disappear as soon as the person keels over. Alright, I just want to read what his notes say. Um, sure. The notes appear to be describing a battle taking place. Um, it's describing what's going on outside right now as your army is meeting with the other. Um, it seems like they were distributing orders. Hmm... I'm a, can I just try and smash this square mirror and see what happens? Go ahead. Yeah, I'll just grab the chair and go smash as I, and then we'll leave. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maria like, the turns back and around to look at you and she sees the chair over her head. The, like, magic oh. is, the magic is no longer emanating from it, thanks to your vision. I shrug. Okay, me and Maria are leaving. I write down a note and I just show everybody. The battle seems to be, because we're, we know that now that the battle's kind of going in our favor right now or what? That is just going on. I'd say it's only halfway through at this point, so okay. you're still not sure. You're probably still getting harassed by gargoyles and by not gargoyles. That was the no, other battle. Fucking, the, um, pit the pit fiend, fiend yeah. keeps coming in and blasting your siege engine, but your siege engine is holding tight. Um, your talon guard has just gone down at this point. They haven't yet to be revived. So if anything, it'd just be like the outer walls have been breached, but now they're fighting other stuff type thing. Probably, yeah. Okay. I'll just write the battle's still going on. It can be anyone's battle. We gotta get this done. Yeah. Agreed. Opens the door. Yep. Last checks. 
found another one. Uh, I assume you're gonna kill this guy? Of course. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with a roll. <laughs> I would just casually I kill him make as much blood. as she bleeds. <laughs> 75 damage. He's a minion. He needs one hit. Yeah, but <laughs> if there were seven of them nearby, I would have overkilled all of them. <laughs> I, I take it. I take it when I can. And nothing in the. Yep. Most of these rooms seem similar, just littered with uh, notes, scrolls, and mirrors. Oh, the scrolls and notes might be interesting. None of them are magical, but there's far too many to go through. You can yeah. probably skim the latest ones out on the desk. I don't want to skim them. I just want to put them all in a bag. In a bag, yeah. For the sake of maybe convincing some diplomats later. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. That's a good plan. Yeah. Uh, how many and which do you want to take? There's some that are on the shelves, um, and there's some that are out on strewn out on the desks. Probably and as far as the number, just name a number. Um. That seems reasonable to rifle through. Uh, I'll... The ones that had minions still in them, sort of like doing a scoop on the shelf and what they were actively writing down and communicating. Um, okay. We'll say you maybe grab, like, five scrolls per, um room, or the three rooms, Perfect. and then uh, one of each of those was the one that they were currently working on. So you got 15 scrolls, mm -hmm. three of which were current. Alright. Thumbs Something up to confirm we're good to go. Yeah. NPCs, form your block. Oh no, Captain. I would like to open this door slowly, slash check if it's locked. Uh, this door does not appear to be locked trepidation you open the door and on the other side you see Cormac just at their desk uh, writing amongst some papers does he notice her? oh yeah he no looks he's up not and, getting a chance he looks up and mouths some words at you then just seems to chuckle silently to himself can I just cinder smite him? you can I'm gonna try he seems the to door. be aware of you so uh, let's oh. roll for initiative shall we? That's how we do things here. I make that dumb gesture, like, huh? Like, hand up to my ear, like, did you say something? Idiot. Right, well, Mal, coincidentally, coincidentally, you can go first. Good. So, roll. That would be, yeah, so Cinder Smite, which, is he immune to fire or resistant? He is immune to fire, yes. Okay, I just figured I'd check. So, with that being, uh, at least 2d6 of the damage was fire, so Correct. that's minus 12 to whatever the damage was. Yeah, 83 minus 12. But, if this hits, he also needs to roll con save? For deadly strike. Oh. Death strike, sorry. DC 19. Constitution save. Alright. Um, let's... Okay, so how much damage? 83 minus... Just do 71. minus 83. We'll do plus 12. Alright. Uh, then he needs to make... What kind of save? Uh, con save? 19. I'm just zero fucks. He's fucking going down. Does a 19 make it? Oh, it does. That's nice. <laughs> Uh, you fire an arrow at him, and he just sort of, uh, like, grabs at the arrow and smashes it in his, his sort of clawed hand. He's got, like, painted fingernails with, like, alternating red and black, uh, polish. And he just stands to his full height, and then announces something else, uh, and then just kind of rolls his eyes a bit, and then you hear in your heads, collectively... It's too late for all of you, but I'll see if I can at least do my master proud. He takes out a, uh, he takes a crystal off of the desk and then begins invoking it. Uh, okay, anything else, Mal? I guess I'm just gonna move in. 
25, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can just move in to be like right next to him. Actually, let's climb on top of the fucking table. As you climb in, you can hear your footsteps. Uh, this room is not silenced. Oh. You yeah. leap up onto the desk. You always were an impudent one. I only wish I'd whipped you harder. Yeah, I'll make you wish that too, because I'm gonna fucking kill your ass. I see. You tried. Anyway, anything else? Uh, if I can catch Boom Crash's eye, I'm gonna let her know that there is sound in here. And that's it. Mm-hmm. I'm on. I'm, I'm wondering if it's your banishment or not. That's you have on to you. get in there to cast a spell, though. Do you have increased speed because you're a monk? Well, it's 40 feet. So I don't... 1, 2, 3, oh, 4, 5, 6, okay. 7, 8. Get up to you there. Does that count as in the room? Because of the weird perspective? Um, I'll say you have to be fully in the room. Damn it. Okay, uh, okay in that case... Um, Are you on your carpet? Yes. What's the carpet's movement? 40 feet. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, so, I could do this. I could do a bonus action dash. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... I'll look at the key points later. I know I have it. So, run around. Oh, it's not aligned to the grid. Eh. I'm trying to hit Cormac, but I don't know which side of the grid he is on. Um, he's just oh, in yeah, the center there. You can reach him from there. Okay, so, I'm just gonna... Check my character sheet one time. I'll check something. I'm gonna yeah, be I'll right check back. I'm just gonna check something. Oh. All right, everybody, go check something. Okay. So I'm going to uh, punch him. Okay. Cool. cool plan. And I'm gonna do stunning blow. All right. That will hit with a twenty-two. So he's gonna take. Uh, let me check. Nope, nothing for necrotic, so it is fine. He takes 11 damage. Uh, you're going to attempt the stunning strike, so he needs to make a con save. Sorry, Sorry. back. Okay, he gets a 27. He's a, he's a hardy boy. Oh, I have uh, my second attack. Right, that one will not hit. Um... You launch another attack against him, but your mind becomes a little foggy as your hand doesn't go where you intended. Ah, he seems shit. to be messing with your mind to make up for his AC. I wanted to do stunning blow, but uh, sorry guys, that's it for me. No, you tried. It was a good try. It's Bonk a very good ones. kick, Nappa. Alright, who's got Yamdal? I think it's Simosu's? No, no, I got no it's, it's Mao's. Yeah. Also, is the carpet with you? Did you hop no, off? No, I, I left on the carpet. The carpet is oh. a fixed moving distance. It That's can't get. Yeah, it's kind oh. of funny. It's just floating in the hallway. <laughs> floating in the hallway, Yamdals is going to use it to, like, make a nice Race. resting spot so he can <laughs> aim. Yamdal puts his knee up on the, the blanket and fires at Cormac. Yeah, that I don't think that hits. It does not hit. It flings past him and lands in his plush chair. You can take a step to the side so he's not at least in Oh, no, no, range. he definitely would. Yamdal yeah. is like, oop, all right. Don't mind me. All right. Harry's turn. He's got a crossbow now. Okay, that she does. He's going to say hello to my little friend. And it's no good. one's going to hear her because she's still in the <laughs> silent hallway. Um, but move forward and... Up two. Try and hit this dude, so. Make Yamdel feel bad. <laughs> this is how you fire a bow with technology. Shit, <laughs> she did make Yamdel feel bad. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, I'm very I'm feeling very smug now. Right. That does hit. Tink. Okay. Let's do six piercing. Oh, uh, it's a non-magical crossbow. He only takes three damage. Okay, still something. Guessing right. she's gonna sidestep out. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zumasu. All right. Uh, this might be an annoying distance. 
Is that 25? Does that... Can I get there safely? Or does that require any finagling? No, that's fine. You just okay. kind of hop up on the desk like Mao did, I guess. Alright. Let's say that was like 30 feet worth anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just hit the guy. Why not? He's a he's a jerk. Uh, da, da, da. Does the seventeen hit? Um. Or does the twenty even hit? The twenty doesn't even hit actually. Oh no! I so both of those miss. Him. Um, you whack at him, but uh, he just sort of deflects one of them with a wave of his hand. Um and like a, a twist of arcane energy, and the other, your head is starting to become like lightheaded. I rolled a three, and I rolled a two. That's why it was a bad time. <laughs> That's pretty low, as far as Zumasus are considered. Anything yeah. else, my friend? Well, I got no more movement, and the only bonus action I got isn't relevant right now. Um, Elena's gonna just fly into the corner and hide. She's still invisible. She might That's be useful fair. later. Donnie's turn! All right. Donatello, uh, Shadow Strike. Hell yeah. Is this their last Shadow Strike, or do they still have one more left? Um, they have one more left. Yeah. It's like a, they have four, right? Total. Think so. Yeah, three total. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. They make two melee attacks. The twenty-two does hit. The one with the lower damage. Whoops. Yep. Can't believe you beefed it, Donnie. He takes a uh, minor blow to the back as he's getting surrounded. His magic is unable to deter all of these whelps. Right, if Donnie's done, it's the man's turn. Right. What shall we do here? Uh, Roll over let's. And die. Just die. And unleash an AOE and make everybody sad? Well, we could do that. Oh, yeah. Dan! <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Stop giving it to my just. <laughs> no, but let's, uh... Let's simply identify a threat. Um... Cormac is going to turn towards Amon and, uh, force him to make a... Sorry, they're going to cast a spell. Uh, cast a spell, I guess. Go, I wand, go! Alright, uh, you're using your wand? Yeah, the wand is all I got. Okay, then uh, it is above it is above third level, so you'll need to make a check for it. Okay. Um, was it was a check, sorry. What's your spell casting? It's wisdom, so it's a wisdom check. Okay. I should just click the button and then it like the option comes up for check. Okay, it's at the bottom, yeah. It's been a while. Right, that does not make it. Anyone else? I'm holding my my axe, I can't do counter spell because I don't think oh, I use the charge. Uh isn't the silent room should Yeah, should sorry. Yeah, I knew um, that, but I didn't know about Zumasu. Okay. Yeah, uh, if I'm holding the axe and I already used the ring, I can't do it. Amon, you attempt to flick your wrist uh, to counter the spell, but the spell is far too powerful. It comes embedded with its own wards that were able to absorb the arcane blow. Uh, I'm going to have you make an intelligence saving throw. It's DC 19. Shit, not that. Your mind mm. is assaulted with terrifying imagery. You get plus, uh, plus five, though. Oh. Well, that's Amon good. likes nightmares. Those are daydreams. Amon, you're able to, using your faith, resist it. Uh, mostly with the help of your ally, Zumasu. He has gone through a similar feeble mind spell before, so he's able to resist the effects. He takes a look at me as he starts to, like, drool and is like, wait, he was doing that before. Fuck this, I'm not looking like that. <laughs> I know how foolish that was. <laughs> he then is going to... Uh, turn towards Mao and use his Taskmaster's whip. Alright! Oh, I don't gets, need to do anything. <laughs> it gets a natural one. Uh, catch it. Mao catches the whip in her hands. Um, 
He then turns towards Zumasu and reaches out with another claw to use his disruptive touch. He, he, he literally just holds on to my pauldron. All right. Yeah, he reaches out uh, and tries to affect you guys, but none of his blows are landing. And he's, he's getting a little frustrated. This is God, Curse you all, and your cleric should have fallen by now. Why are you resisting my spells? Boom this crash. is very nice armor. It was made by a friend. He doesn't know what that word is. Friends don't exist here. Okie dokie. Oh, it gonna... feels like a terrible place so to dip work. in. And I'm going to cast Intellect Fortress on y'all. <laughs> Whee! Uh -oh. And I'm going to use a Warlock slot. Um, so, yeah. I'll put up the spell description. Sure. Magical arcane wards are drawn around each of your uh, your heads, basically, encasing your minds uh, and protecting them from possible incursions. All right. Uh, so what's that? Uh, right, you just gotta make sure you concentrate. Advantage on all mental saving throws. Got it. All right. Cool. Anything else, Boom Crash? Nope. I'm dipping out. <laughs> all right. Boom Crash protects you all and then ducks into the silent room. I'm helping. Whoop. It is Maria's turn. Oh, she can actually go into a room with stuff. Okay, so she's gonna go inside. One of her thingies. She's been in the quiet the whole time. Ugh. <sighs> this is a relief. Forgot what my own voice sounded like. Uh, I thought I was taking notes on this. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, she's gonna do... Which is the one where she can have somebody else do it? A commanding strike. I'm gonna note that she takes off one of these. Within 30 feet, yeah. So she's gonna have Mal attack and she's just gonna throw the javelin at him to make the qualification for it. Just okay. Here, I guess. Uh, Cormac does have cover in many ways uh, from, from all you guys surrounding him, but it's she mostly, can still attempt the attack. Yeah, it's mostly so she fit, fills the prerequisites type thing. I'm Does sure. Maria roll or do I roll? You roll. You roll. You oh, just okay. make your attack. Yeah, Maria gets an additional attack. Well, sorry, just she gets to attack also. Yeah, it's mostly to um, have somebody else attack with her is the whole how, thing. So, question is, how would that work if I had a bow in my hand? I guess you can still make a bow attack. It's just going to yeah. be the normal it's whatever. Yeah. It's what? not a crossbow. And... You still get sneak attack because of the allies, but you... Oh, shit, it was disadvantage. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, well. That's why I was so, like, no, oh, Bo! Uh, yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Where's the button? It, you might have to do it from her sheet. Yeah, I'm on her sheet. I'm just being dumb with where it's located. Click the word. It's the here, word. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, 18's not gonna hit. Nope. Uh, it was a... Well... They have cover, not a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, uh, Cormac is able to deflect most of your blows as he kind of just uh, spreads his hands outward, wrenching the whip back uh, from Mao. You guys, uh, your your missiles like fly upward, smashing to pieces. <clears throat> All right, anything else from Maria? Is she sticking in? Uh, that's as far as she could move in. All right, top of the round. Mao, it's your turn. Yeah, now I'm just going to drop the bow. I'm going to try and jump on him and just stab him with a short sword or scimitar. Whip out your scimitar of speed and leap onto Cormac, your former taskmaster. All right. Uh, as you leap onto him, I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. That's fine. You got my bonus. 20? 20? Well, it's plus five, oh, right? Advantage. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, an advantage because Intellect advantage. Fortress, so it's 24. No. What's the advantage from? Intellect Fortress makes it any mental yep. right. save. All right. Uh, as you go to uh, leap onto Cormac, you see uh, him briefly take the form of Zumasu, and Zumasu take the form of Cormac, but you manage to steal yourself, and uh, you <laughs> close your eyes and smell the foul beast in front of you, and you strike true. Cormac, even through his disguise, takes damage. 
I don't care if it's some off sword, I'm gonna stab it anyway! <laughs> oh, he has armor, he'll be fine! <laughs> Your minds are supposed to be addled by this point. Ugh, I'm growing sick of this. How much damage? What's the total? Total is, let's see, 12, 35. 33, 45. 45, yep, and bonus action attack as well. That probably will not hit. That yeah, doesn't hit. hit. Mm -hmm. uh, the second strike uh, follow-up, he swats away with what appears to be a tail, but you're not sure. It's through his disguise. Right. Right. Uh, anything else, Mal? Nope. Just being there. Yeah, only Boomcrash can see his true form. It's true. Uh, when they get inside. But yeah, you, right. you see him as a, a fat, slobbery demon with like... Um, a pink distended jaw and like uh almost what's what's the word when uh, vestigial wings uh poking out of his shoulders they don't look like they could lift his weight yeah so when she casts an electric fortress she sees him and is like oh cast the thing and then like skulks out like she's really grossed out all right i'm on have at thee all right um don't yeah, at thee bro Okay, I gotta attempt punching again since I'm already in melee. Might so, as well. Yeah. Does flanking give one or two? Well, a one doesn't hit anyway. Okay, uh, second attack. It gave you a one. <laughs> okay. Doesn't hit. Also okay, misses. I'm gonna use my, uh, yeah, these dice were so. Oh. Um, I get in the bad rolls out early. And then uh, the flurry of blows. Wow. Damn, son. Nothing under, nothing above a ten. Yeah. Your hands and feet become a blur as you whisk uh, a, a veritable blender up of blows, and your fists and uh, your feet empowered by the necrotic energy of Nerul, but most of it just goes and hits tile and desk and other things as Cormac uh, invades your mind and sort of... Uh, displaces himself away from your blows. Uh, uh, that's it for me, guys. It was a good fight. This is like in Final Fantasy or something, if you like do a, a fucking overloaded attack or whatever, and it just looks like it goes straight through them, and it just says, missed! Yeah. Oh, smile. <laughs> Yamdal. Uh, yeah, just gonna... <sighs> step and shoot and step and shoot. Yeah, but you're in the way. He's gonna try, but he might accidentally hit you. If I he mean, hits I you once, the, he just won't do it again. I have the armor, it'll be fine. Step and shoot, man. If he can hit Zuzu, he deserves it. Right. <laughs> well, he doesn't hit. He doesn't hit, no. But it's not high enough that it would've hit Zumasu anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. back. Alright, it's Paranor. I, I feel a ting against the back of my armor. Huh? What's that? <laughs> Okay, um, Paranor steps out, and... And thwips? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna flip again. Could get into melee range. Or, no. uh, no. No! Okay. Oh! Mm. A 20 yeah, does probably. not hit. Okay. No. They have cover from Zumasu, and that wouldn't have hit their AC anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, like, and nopes out again. AC is 21, so if you got a 21, it would have hit some also instead. Well, my AC is higher than that, so it would have plinked off my armor. Sure. What? Okay. Um, Zumasu. Um, so does he, I, I also forgot something. He has like a weird orb thing, right? Uh, he doesn't seem to have one here. Oh, okay. I thought he, I thought you had said earlier he picked up something weird. A crystal. Uh, it's it's just sort of his uh arcane focus. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. I'm just I'm just going attacking. That's the wrong button. I'm gonna ignore that one. Okay. The twenty one does hit. He's not got no special, right? Yep. He doesn't have any special, and he's used his reaction already. All so right. both of those are gonna hit. Twenty five. Does he get any reduced damage from any of this? Yeah, hold on. There's a lot of types here. Let's see. Acid and cold are usually the important ones. Uh, resistant to cold, immune to fire, and poison. So okay. the cold damage will take half. 
All right, so the first one, he's going to take 24 damage because he took two damage to cold. And the second one, he's going to take uh, 24 damage. Okay, sure. All right, he takes 48 damage. Uh, can I item? Uh, can I say I can kick the the javelin, uh, the spear back to Maria with like an item interaction type thing? Uh, sure. Okay, because it would have just fallen over in this area, I'll just say I kick it back to her so she can pick it up on her turn. All right, okay. that's uh, that's it. Yeah. Donnie's turn. Let's see if one of the monks can land a blow. It's CBRB. You might have. Uh, maybe. It's okay. I will do Ooh. an attack for Donnie. Punch. Oh, yeah. Alright, that is a miss. Also under a 10. <laughs> also under a 10. We finally go to Cormac again. He gets his reaction back. Um. My hmm. 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 He's trapped in between a bookshelf and a hard place. That is true. Uh, as he's getting attacked, uh, you can see him like starting to buckle under the pressure. Um, he finally shouts, ENOUGH! And I'm going to need each of you next to him to make a dexterity saving throw. At least y'all get my bonus. Hmm? Is this a magical thing? It is a magical effect. Okay. That's uh, good. Donatello's finally being a ninja. I might have missed this, but that's good to know. Okay, I got a 17. Uh, okay, so you got a 17, but everybody else got above 20 thanks to your bonus, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Zoo. Thanks, Zumas. <laughs> so everyone else is going to take half damage. Zumas is going to take full damage. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess he jumped on Cormac. Everybody get away! <laughs> Captain America as a... <laughs> a... A... a <laughs> <laughs> Was this the test? A blast of hellfire bursts forth from him and knocks you all ten feet away. I just assume that my shield will be able to help, and it does not at all. <laughs> just uh, hold my shield in front of me like a doofus. I'm gonna deal some damage. Just going um, to be Mal halved. Will take none. Yes, Mao will take none because they made their dexterity save, but they are still the, pushed back. This Thank is God. this is hellfire, so the yeah. fire resistance doesn't help on it. Nope. Yes. Okay, it, they rolled pretty low, so... Oh my god, I'm so happy. That wow. would have been a lot of damage. Okay, so those that take half damage are going to take 10. Zimasu takes 19. Mao takes okay. none. Uh, Donatello okay. is going to take... Yeah. Um, this was on the low end. I'll just say he takes two health points and put him at, at like, two. So I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, how big was the area? Because I realize Elaine is in that room. Would it have gotten her or not? This was his own special thing. No, no, he said he okay. uh, it was because he said the ones are next to him. So. Okay, yep. that, everybody I adjacent to, make sure to him. Elena didn't explode. Um, the room fills with fire and smoke, obscuring this area. Um, he cackles madly as he hides. You piece Ooh. of shit! A uh, true sight. True sight and boom crash. True sight does not break soot and fog. Oh, this is okay. a physical one, not a magical. Blind sense yeah, yeah. might, which Mao has. Boom crash does come in. She sees all of the smoke and fog, and she's like, "God damn it!" Yeah, he's being um, shit. He's still in there. You you see Zumuasu kind of flailing, like pointing there when he sees boom crash. Still in there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I technically have that wind spell. Oh yeah, that's, that's the wind. wind. I also sure. have control wins. Which one would be better? Uh, I think Gust is explicitly um, so like can clear blows stuff out. Uh, smoke away. Oh yeah, that's um, controlled wins is we'll, uh, the air. <laughs> we'll do that, I guess. I don't know. Do you have a Gust? Like, not a gust of wind, gust. Um, Control Winds has gusts, downdraft, and updraft. So, which your spell, what you have is Control Wind, is the spell you have? Um, I have two. I have Gust of Wind and Control Winds. Control think... Winds has um, three possible effects. Control Winds is objectively better because it's a higher level spell. Gust of Wind creates a 10-foot 
uh, wide, 60 foot long line that you can redirect the orientation of every round while you concentrate. And it hedges out fog and mist and soot and all that stuff. Yeah, so if you're spending a fifth, if you're spending a warlock spell to do it, then control wind anyway because it's a fifth level spell. It's, uh, uh, it's through just... the rod. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going with either one. Gust of Wind, you can direct people. Um, I think they both would be able to dissipate as long as you use one of them. Jesus Christ, that's a weird looking gust. <laughs> I think that was Ooh. actually the explosion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do have a gust of wind, but I think you're using the, the rod, right? Yeah, she's using yes, the, the rod. Right. You hold the rod of seven parts, uh, however many parts you have of it, and mm -hmm. the winds begin to pick up in the room. Um, I believe it like adjusts it per round to like low winds and then high winds, uh, but it's enough that the uh, smoke and soot in the room begins to push away and towards the sides and the walls of the chamber. As you move away all of the uh, ash and soot, Ormac is nowhere to be found, even with your true sight. Ugh. Coward! What a weenus. That's disappointing. Mm. What you can still hear me, you elbow. piece of shit. You better tell Priorus I'm coming for his ass. Well, let's loot his office. Oh, did he take his crystal with him? <sighs> um, he did. He probably did. <laughs> but there is still, uh, I'll say, a crystal ball on his desk. Another one. All right, I say we, you know, loot this just... area. Yeah, are we still in yes. combat? Um, we'll let a round go by if you'd like, if anybody needs to try anything within oh, the next shit. round. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So Okay, so I won't guess. sit in his chair and start rifling through his desk. You I, can. I think that's still pretty boom crashy to be like, where the hell he go and then jump over onto his desk. Okay. That still kind of fits. Alright. Now doing anything other than uh... looting the room? Uh, oh, Maria probably would have just walked over too. That's all. If she bumps into something, grab the spear, walk over this way, like looking for him. Well, Zoo is covering the door, so I'm hoping he can cover the door. I'm gonna go to the other side over here, just kind of tuck myself up against the wall. All right. Paranoid and just waiting. On. Um. Oh, well, Maria's in the way, so never mind. Okay. Um. Let's start. Uh, Actually, I want to investigate the the, the mirror. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, make it carpet. Make an investigation check. Cover, grab the carpet, and then fly over to the mirror. Yeah. Investigations. Investigation. Jesus Christ! I cannot roll today. I mean, you also had low investigation, so it was a hail mary. Uh, the mirror looks sort of plain. Um, it's not like got any special decorations on it, uh, though it does have a thick bronze frame, and the mirror seems to be uh, somewhat old. Uh, it's got a little corrosion around the edges of it, but it still reflects. Right. Dumb doll. Duh. Peeks over, sees everyone not in combat, and probably will like, walk <laughs> in and be like, Wow, we got him already! <laughs> Alright. Is it over? Oh, we got him, or is he just... What happened? No, he's not. Yeah, dude just t bounced. Don't know where he went. No, I didn't see him go on the outside, so I think we're good in here. Alright. Perry? Perry the uh... Nomopus? <laughs> <laughs> Perry is... very excited about her new toy and is watching the doorway and readying an attack to anything that jumps out at her. Okay. I could very well see Paranor adding some sort of specialty to the bolt, like a necrotic effect or some shit. Oh, absolutely. Um, I kind of like holding the star. I'm just going to I'm gonna use the detect magic as an action to just scan the room to see if any doors or something looks like they could be openable. You know, it does appear breaths. to be plenty of magic emanating from this room. Uh, the crystals in each of the four corners of the room are magical. Um, there appears to be plenty of magic coming from his desk, as well as some coming from uh, the bookcase as well. There are some floating crystals as well near another sort of uh, 
like cupboard uh, near Donatello. God damn it, guys! This whole room is full of magical. Um, are your eyes hurting? Is it just so bright and glowy? It's like Superman. He needs to like rub his eyes and not look so hard. The bookcase in the in the dresser. Maybe something's behind them. They they definitely have something in there. I wanted to tip the bookcase over, but Maria was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to crush her. All right, but I don't want to move out of here in case he tries to go out through this door. All right. Um, uh, and that was an, it was an action to do the detect magic, so I'm done. All right. Tell him. Okay. Yep. Is Donnie doing anything? Well, uh, well, if you want to open this, uh, he's going to stick his uh, quarter staff in. And it's like, uh, he's preparing to tip it over as soon as someone moves. Right. Dantello has learned from their, uh, their, their master. Destruction is the best form of investigation. Uh, with that, we get to the top of the round, I think. Well, the top of the round where Booncrash got rid of everything. Cormac has not made themselves known. So, let's end combat. Alright, Maria, get out of the way. Step. I'll go. Maria, help me move this dresser. We're gonna lift okay. it with our legs, knees. Uh, um, uh, Donnie and I are gonna tip, try to tip this uh, bookshelf uh, over. All right. Uh, the bookshelf tips over, and all of the books uh, slam out onto the ground. Though many are trapped now underneath the weight of the bookcase. All right. But there's nothing behind the door. Behind the door is a dusty wall. I mean, behind the bookshelf. Okay. Sorry, and behind the... You said door, so... I, I, I know, I know. Um, and I'm moving the dresser, anything behind the dresser. Uh, whatever it's called. The, the cupboard. Thing. Yeah. Uh, you push this aside, and once again, there is nothing but a dirty wall. The crystals kind of, like, bob a bit in midair as they are moved, or as their base is moved. What kind of magic is it if I take a second to look around? Um, there's mostly forms of evocation magic that are emanating from these crystals. So, um, this, the, the crystal ball that's next to them is emitting divination magic. Okay. Must be a ball for scrying. That would make sense. The mirror emanating any magic, or no? The mirror is not emanating any magic. Hmm. I guess I'll just do an investigation to look through some seams or anything. Where are you looking? Uh, I'll look at the wall over here. Or, you know what? I'll check the desk. Why not? He was sitting okay. there. Um, so while you're investigating the desk, is anybody else doing anything? Boomcrash is sitting in the chair and looking at the shinies on top of the desk. Alright, there's plenty of shinies to be had here. Um, there's, uh, looks to be a key ring. Um, there's a crystal orb that was left behind by Cormac. Um, there's a bunch of, like, papers and quills and stuff. Um, it seems to be detailing, uh, from a cursory glance at least, um, the efforts of the battle, um, and sort of a, a preemptive plan. There's lots of notes on, like, your army composition and all of that stuff, um, and descriptions of all of you guys pared down for just distributing to everybody here. Yeah, so he coordinated all the moves and they all okay. told people. Boom Crash burns all of this then. If it's not interesting, it's stuff we already know. It's not stuff that I necessarily want to get out, so burning it. Start burning it all. Uh, Mal, anything? Uh, so you said that there was like magic coming from this dresser over here, right? Yeah, there was magic coming from the dresser, the bookshelf, the orbs in the corner, just All about right. everything. I'll, um, I'll check out the dresser. Inside the dresser, there's uh, a bunch of, like, magical reagents and stuff um, kept inside of bottles and vials and boxes. Most of it just looks to be useful stuff for casting spells, not necessarily stuff that you'd use to cast a spell. However, there is an unusual 18-inch um, diameter iron ring that is, like, it sort of falls out when the door opens, almost as if the door was just holding it in. 18-inch diameter ring. Yeah, so 9-inch radius. It's a big fucking ring. Is it more like a collar, then? Are we gonna summon fucking Sonic the Hedgehog? A collar? Do you know how big 18 inches is? 
Yes. It's not a choker. He said it's a nine inch diameter. That's a pretty big yeah. ring. Yeah, that's like a foot and a half. How big's your neck? <laughs> Chris, we've Absolutely. all gotten fat. Leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> Fair so, enough. If I were to hold this in my hand, it's almost, it's not a, a steering wheel. That is way too big. This is like maybe the inside center column of a steering wheel. Like that size. It's like a foot and a half. It's like a big old timey steering wheel. Okay. Huh. I just pull it out and I hold it up. I'm like, what the fuck do you get, think this is? It's gestured well, everyone. If I know my Resident Evils, it's a crank. We need to find a place to turn it on. Oh, God. Seems kind of weird to have it here, but sure. I just, I'll hold on to it. All right. Is there uh, any defining fact, like information on it? Anything carved on it? Any weird, like, marks? You're not sure. Zumasu can see magic coming from it. Transmutation magic. It was turned, some sort of transmutation magic. I left him crush no, so she can do a thing. Mm. Do I, I need know. to roll for the, for the desk? I'd say yeah. Okay. Come on, little desk. Ooh. I can't roll above a 10 today. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, you don't find, like, too much useful stuff in the desk, especially since Mooncrash has started burning up the desk. Um, I burned up the papers specifically. The papers on the desk, sure. Um, the scorch marks aren't making it easy, though. <laughs> Zoom also kind of, like, looks underneath instead to see if there's, like, something that might have fallen uh, underneath. You do see that there is an unusual, like switch underneath the desk I right found... below where you might put your hand while you're sitting i found a button boom crash maybe step aside you don't want to i want to push the button oh no okay she backs the fuck up into the hallway <laughs> I, well uh, okay fine if we're gonna be that way um i'm just gonna stand next to it and just use mage hand to poke it while people aren't next to it so i'm just gonna okay. help you stand away and using your uh, warlock powers, a radiant hand emerges uh, from your hand and moves towards the switch and flicks it. Nothing happens. Um, you look down and you see like a little poison needle has gone where the lever was, but also a compartment has opened. It's lined with lead, but inside you can see that there is a dagger. Dagger is emanating uh, some sort of Powerful illusion magic. I, I wave back and boom crash. Do um, they have their own version of the mm -hmm. what's the name of the sword that we have that we're hiding as a butter knife? Uh fuck the uh, dark. Oh, something black razor. Yeah, black, black razor. razor. This uh, is their own version of black razor. What if I feed the sword to the knife or the knife to the sword? Oh no. <laughs> boom crash looks at the dagger. What does she see? Uh she sees a dagger. The true said huh. don't do nothing. No, nope, oh, it's I've, showing that its true form is a dagger. So it could have been transmuted to be this. Or it can cast an illusion spell or has some sort of effect. Yeah, the, the, the dagger's emanating illusion magic if you wanna, and you want, um, is it okay, you think, to pick it up? Hold on. Uh, I don't think I'm able to tell if it's cursed before touching it or anything. I mean, I can cast Identify on it. Do identify still wouldn't reveal if there is a curse, though. No, but it's it's uh, at least we would know what the hell it is. How long yeah. does the hand of eight take? Just ten minutes? A minute. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, one minute or ten minutes if you're casting it as a ritual. Okay, yeah, it's I have the spell slots, but do we have ten minutes? I am happy to burn one of my spell slots for this. Yeah, you can yeah. Do ten. Minutes. You'd like to use ten minutes? Then yeah. I'm gonna keep searching the room to see if Cormac got out in a different way. Like, right. Okay. Behind I'll the desk in the wall spell. All right. Um, now, do you want to then do a perception check? Sure. Because we can tell he didn't use magic to get out, or at least we're not sure. But he could have physically gotten out of here. But yeah, he could have just touched something and teleported him. Uh, pff, perception. Wisdom. Right. Reliable talent. 
Um, it's also my passive. Uh, after looking around for like the 10 minutes or so, you uh, maybe like five minutes in detect that um, there seems to be uh, like a discoloration on the frame of the mirror. Almost like fingers have touched one side of the mirror repeatedly for many times oh, over like a how, long period. Like metal kind of gets polished because of like oils and stuff. Yeah, like people petting the face of a bronze dog and right. its nose turns gold. Huh. I, I'll point it out to everyone, but I know we're waiting on the identify, so I won't open it until. I mean, but I'm guarding it. If if that's the case, don't we want to go catch him? Well, he's had a five minute lead. That's five hundred turns. That's 30. true. We'll get him eventually. It's fine. All right. All right. Uh, boom crash. You finish the identify spell. You identify the item as a magical dagger. It is called the duplicitous dagger. Um, it is a plus three dagger. It has ten charges. Charges allow you to cast spells, and they replenish each night at midnight. I will put this in the chat. Number of charges that each spell takes is written in parentheses. Requires attunement. Ooh. This is kind of nice, though. The dagger, <laughs> in in of itself uh, uses its magic to create an illusory copy of your arm that's always slightly off where your true arm is while you're holding it. <laughs> Neat. Making it's like it difficult for enemies, beast. yeah. Yeah. To detect where your next blow will strike. Out of curiosity, for something like Phantasmal Killer, what would be like the DC of it? Is would it be based on the caster or the dagger? It would be based on the dagger itself. And I will tell you that the DC is 17. Okay. We'll assume that's like the baseline for the stuff. Yep, for all of the effects. All right. We're all kind of attuned out, aren't we? We I'm we are, but our, how is Maria, Yondol, and Paranor looking? Uh, Maria can still take some attunement, but I think Donatello might. Can can monks use daggers with flurry yeah. blows? Okay, I'm sure they could, yeah. Maybe Donatello should take it. All right. You get plus three to hit. Hmm. Yeah, Yamdal's more distance, um, and he doesn't have any magical items at the moment. But if Donatello has something he can trade, that'd be cool. If not, oh well. Well, I thought Yamdal had a bow. He has just a normal bow. Oh, you're right. It was a normal bow. He has yeah. the. He had something that helps them. What do we give him? An ion stone. That's what it was that helped and him. And braces of it. archery, yeah. yeah. Gives him plus one to his proficiency bonus. Then the braces of archery helped him shoot better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Donatello could take the dagger for now since he's still melee and Mar Maria's already got her spear. Okay. I mean, Mao, do you still have attunement slots? Or are you still doing the thing where you don't want to use magic? I have uh, three items right now, so... What are the so items? All, all, all the PCs are attuned out. Because remember, your magic items don't require attunement. Or your uh, magic weapons usually don't require attunement. Well, Scimitar of Speed did. Oh, yeah, okay. Protection, Scimitar of Speed, and a Ring of Vine Shielding. Higher level magic items tend to. Basically, if they have a usable ex effect, they tend to. Or if they're like plus three, they tend to. Okay. Well, if I'm you're fine, if you're fine uh, not having the Duplicitous Dagger, then we can give it to Donatella. Yeah, you can have it for now. When he dies, I'll take it off his corpse. Yeah, when everyone's dead and I have to worry about someone yeah. trying to give me horrible thoughts in my brain, I'll take the ring off. And For I'll now, he just dagger. has a dagger, Thanks though, because it takes a while dude. to charge. <laughs> That's fine. He might not be able to even, depending on how fast we get to the next floor, he might not even be able to use it because it's uh, our attunement. No, I understand that. Okay. Um, I guess let's go through the thing unless anybody else got any other plans. What are the little reliefs, by the way, that are, like, in here? These, like, people... And the teethy things? demonic form things. Yeah, the... I think it looks like a like teeth. Uh, I see people with, like, um, some bat at the top. Yeah. I will get to it. I'm just filling out Donatello's new item. 
Chris is like, we, we got this nice cool item for the PCs and they give it to the turtle. I got it for the nice rogue in the family, you know, a plus three weapon is a legendary <sighs> tier item, but But it's I have fine. to take off the ring of mind shielding and Mao's afraid of dying. That's fair. Yeah, it's a dang ring of mind shielding is holding her hostage. It's li literally, like, it, day it one, she has never taken it. this thing off. It is literally holding her hostage. <laughs> this would be so perfect for you, Mal. It really would. It's 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 the character growth moment where she picks up the dagger when she's like, I don't need the ring anymore. You're muted, Chris. I can kill people preemptively. <laughs> anyway, uh, you observe the rest of this room now that you've taken plenty ample time to uh, to look into it. There's a continual light that just sort of bobs around the room, around the desk. Uh, it seems to respond to your, like, hand movements. You can, like, move it around almost, Tony Stark style. We can play catch. Um, if you wanted to, but it wouldn't <laughs> fly very quickly or far. Um, the walls uh, sort of terminate in the ceiling in vaults uh, that make the room head to a point. Um, at the north west and east sides of the room there are like bronze reliefs uh, of devoted followers beneath a giant devilish figure um, and flames licking their feet below them um, it's mostly what all of them look like it's this sort of icon of subservience to a devil and the constant threat of betrayal that lies underneath the feats of uh, all of their worshippers. Meanwhile, the other okay. crystals around the room seem to have some sort of empowering effect on Cormac while he was here, but he didn't last long enough to really utilize them. Mostly just gave him a few extra actions. Good for him. Alright, time to go through the door. I'm gonna try to open it. There's a door. Aha! Uh -huh. I touch where the fingerprints were. Touch where the fingerprints were, and curl your fingers around it. The thing opens physically. Oh, just like a swing door? Yeah, it just swings open like a oh, door. okay. <laughs> like Donatello during the, the sooty explosion just kind of heard like a Minecraft door going like... Turns <laughs> 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 uh. oh. that stairs going down, or up? Well, I don't think I have the dynamic lighting on this area, but uh, there are there are stairs going up and down, a spiral staircase in a plain uh, right, chamber. Right, the second floor. Well, up is where up, right? yeah, we are ascending to the top floor where the boss is going to be. Mm -hmm. You want to do some prep? I'm a uh, okay, Maria. You want to? Can we? Can a large person fit through these stairways? Uh, I mean. Sure, it would just I be mean, squeezing the whole time. Yeah, I don't that, love okay, that. Just, they could just drink it on the first action. They don't. Need yeah. To, yeah, she can ready an action when we enter combat to drink the thing. All right, um, I'll just do two things then. Elena and Maria are gonna both drink a potion of fire breathing since that lasts an hour anyway. Oh, I have a question. Uh, the one that counter spells, it only has got like two charges per day, right? I think it was one of the. Or... It's either two or three charges, but I don't remember. Okay, okay. I it's, thought it was basically charge. supposed to just double my spell slots for counter spells, so it would be three. Okay. Okay, then definitely write that down if it wasn't written just down. Two on the the thing that I wrote, I was like, did I write it wrong? It was like, two did you really... did you say two because you used one? Maybe I'm not sure. Or did I nerf it? <laughs> I think you nerfed it. I, th I think it's just supposed to be three, because most items are three. Yeah, that's what my initial thought is. All right, um, you said something about Maria getting fire shield or something? No, uh, a potion of fire breathing. It's the thing where they can do a cone action, or use bonus action for a cone of 48. Okay. Save. Who else is getting potions? Elena. It's getting Basically. a potion of fire breathing as well? Yeah, it lasts an hour, so they could just have it if they need to expel it. Okay. Any other potions? We good? I'm good. And I'm good. Right. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna grab onto your tunes. 
make sure everybody's nearby each other for my purposes. You will ascend. Uh, I'm going to have Yomdal make a stone cunning check. So make him do a history check uh, and double his proficiency. Which is actually increased by the Ion Stone. So it's history is under intelligence? Wisdom. Uh, uh intelligence. intelligence. Okay. Well, it's a check, but I'm sh actually no. that might Well, I mean if So he, it's adding his proficiency. Yeah. No, his proficiency bonus is two. Um his saves are actually bigger than most of his... Okay. No, wait, his intelligence is three. Yeah. Um, so he needs to add... Cause this is adding four because it's a save. Um, so he needs to add an additional three to that. So that's 13. Okay. okay. I trust you. I don't know how you got that number, but I believe in you. The minions are weird. They have like a set flat bonus yeah. to some things. Um, anywho, uh, you... Sorry, Yamdal uh, is able to detect after you guys have been walking for a while. I think this is skipping a floor. It's going too high too quickly. Skipping a floor? So then we're gonna go from... Going from the fifth floor to the seventh floor. So we're currently what? on the, the Choir of Stilled Tongues. Right? Yes. And that was the fourth floor? Or was that, that was, the fifth floor? That was the fifth floor. Okay. So then we're going to be skipping the Vault of Truth and going directly to the Traitor's Throne? What was that, the Traitor's Throne? Probably freaking... Briarius? Uh, Briarius, the, yeah. Or is it, the, or is it the, the what's its face? The thing that we got the name of. Oh, Hold it on. could also be, yeah. The Arcanoloth um, wasn't very... Um, direct with what was there, just the names of the floors. Uh, I think that might not be that floor. You're skipping the Traitor's Throne. You're heading to a place called the Transept of Bator. Alright, yeah, which is the magic circles that they use for just all of their summoning shit. Summoning peeps. Yeah. I mean, that'd be good to mess up. Stop them from summoning shit. I'm cool with breaking those summoning circles. Do you still have your, um... Your axe, or whatever that pickaxe thing that allows you to destroy, like, stonework? Yeah, we haven't used it yet. We could always go through a floor. You mean just co carp? Okay. Just I'm just throwing it out there. If we're gonna be above, we can just drop on in. I guess that's true. Just make a hole in the ground. We can just piss off Chris and just avoid half the dungeon. <laughs> Is it right. pissing me off? I don't know. We'll know. have to see. He might just be like, okay, they're going to fall into a boss fight in the middle of a boss fight. You true, know? true. That so, could always happen, too. All right, but let's go up. Let's go up. Up is still good. Uh, we can always try to find another another down set of stairs to go down. Because mm -hmm. here, the only other one was the down one. So we didn't find it's, any others that go up. It might have done that weird thing where it goes down and up, though. But let's just mm -hmm. go up. Maybe. We're already going this way. Okay. Stay together. Okay. You guys, continue your ascent. Uh heeding Yomdal's warning. At least, putting it in the back of your mind. Kind of know where we are. What the hell's the Vault of Truth, then? Because that was also supposedly above. It was. Goddamn Arcanaloth. I'm gonna give you the information, but it's not gonna be, like, 100%. Jerk. Right, uh, Mao, this area terminates at another secret door, but it's not so secret from this uh, side of the wall. You easily open it up and head into a chamber filled with books uh, on shelves and scrolls lining the place. There's a few like um, like uh, book stands for reading books, um, and across from you there is a Canian cultist uh, writing at a desk amidst uh, this cool blue continual light that is lighting the way. As they hear the stone shift behind them, they turn to see you. Huh? What? Uh, and let's roll for initiative. Boy! No, kill him. Kill him fast. <laughs> yeah, that's really all that this, uh, that this is for. To make well, sure you kill them fast enough. I think I'm mostly gonna be like, um, 
Oh, where's shit. Cormac? I'm like when I'm running up to him before killing him, I'm just gonna ask the first one, where's Cormac? Where'd he go? Right. You rush up to the minion. Oh, well, I actually, actually got fourteen. Donatello. Oh, Donatello, Donatello your turn. first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this well, seems this seems dumb. Anything. I'm gonna skip turns until it's mouse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank We're you. all kind of stuck cool. inside of the stairwell. All right. Why couldn't we just walk in initiative order? <laughs> yeah. Why couldn't you just walk <laughs> in initiative order, you idiots? Okay, Mal, go ahead. Running forward, gonna go and stab, but I'm giving him just a moment to answer my question. Where did Cormac go? I didn't see him. What are you talking about? Okay. Wrong answer. <laughs> he goes down. Two other minions, uh, Man, you astonished. Sorry? No, go ahead. Uh, two other minions, astonished, uh, jump up from their seats and start running. Anything else, Mal? I could technically throw my blade at one as a bonus action, but that'd be dumb. Nah, nah. What do you mean it would be dumb? <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna throw my sword at him. <laughs> They're minions, they take one damage. To as kill. long as they hit, it's good. Yeet! And if it's a ranged yeah. attack, if you do overkill, no, then it funny. hits the person no, behind them. The because the minion's gonna go like, oh, a free sword, I just run away. True. I, no, I'd I love it if that happens. I say throw it, though. <laughs> I don't oh. know what you want to count it as. Uh, well, you said you're throwing a dagger, right? I'm gonna... No, it's I have the scimitar speed, I was gonna keep the, the sword. Oh, you're throwing the sword? Yeah! Oh my god. Okay, well, that's definitely made with disadvantage, and, uh. It, you are proficient in swords, but, uh. It's an improvised oh, weapon. It's yeah, an, an improvised weapon. weapon doesn't add your proficiency bonus, right? No, unless you have yeah. Unless you have Tavern Brawler or something that gives you throw. Yeah, so I think it's not. I think it is disadvantage because you're using, uh. Melee weapon at range, but don't quote me on that. Decks, right? No, so there's no disadvantage, it's just a straight dice roll. Okay. Plus. Plus uh, strength, because uh, oh, okay. uh, it's a yeet based weapon. Yeah, throwing weapons unless they have finesse. Um, yeah, are, are not decks. All right, you fling the sword, uh, and it lands near the minion's feet. <laughs> Ellie, you are not Raven. <laughs> he tried. I, I, I'm, I'm applauding you for trying. Enjoy the show. All right, uh, anything else now? Movement to get there and attack. So. Hmm. I mean, you only moved three spaces, so 15 10, feet. 15, 20. Well, I guess if you're starting me right there, I thought I was counting it from, like, leaving the doorway. But yeah, I mean, even 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I would have to make a bonus. Like, that was my bonus action, so I can't move any more than that. Yep. All right, it's this guy's turn. This guy's gonna take two steps over here and grab the weapon. You son of a- Dan, stop giving him ideas! <laughs> I'm gonna put a little sword icon on him. No! And he's gonna move one, two steps back. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is great. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> 11, 12. Okay, he's he's moved. Um, you hear shouting from the other chamber. They're here! The intruders! They're here! In the library! Paranor gains the initiative. Paranor's gonna be okay. Squeeze me. Oh, yeah, she can squeeze. Them. Sorry? I was saying Paranor can squeeze because she's small. Small. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, she can't make it that far. Um, she has a ranged weapon, though. Oh, she does! Okay, does. so does it take double movement to get through all of these people? No, she's small. Okay, so. One, two, three. Aim it at that guy. Pew pew. Alright, with a thwip. Please load. No. Uh, with a thwip, the arrow goes past the minion. She's still not super used to using a crossbow. I'm more of a hands-on type of gnome. Yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. That's I'm trying. It. All right, Zumasu. It'll just um, take an extra five feet to step through Boom Crash, but that's it. Uh, when it comes to Elena, where would she actually have been? Because most of the time she's kind of with Mal. Would we say she's at Boom Crash spot or my spot? For a starting point. Uh, inside the thing, I guess. 
So here? Right here? Yeah. Okay. Ah, crap. I did the burn thing. I can't grab my burden. Move you. No, I, I, uh, I closed the door. That's why. Um, because Elena has movement that she could do and a bonus action. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, she can't see around that corner yet. Um, she's just gonna stay invisible. One, two, three, four. I think, I think that's the farthest I can get, right? Yeah, because of going through extra five. Me, yeah, I'm gonna throw the axe at this guy. I think. Oh, I'm gonna drop the axe, shoot him, and then pick up the axe. Hey, okay. you drop the axe and launch some eldritch blasts towards the minion. Wrong button. One second. You drop the axe aggressively at the ground. <laughs> the ground takes a few damage. Okay, I have to do it from the character. Hold on, let me just drop this for a second. Oh, there we go. Alright, uh, at, oh my god, it's a lot of them. It is the right amount, but it is it a is lot of It is the right them. amount, it's because I, I messed up with the axe first. I at least one of them hit. hits. At least one of them hits, and the minion goes down. They're knocked out of their desk uh, as they stumble after their companion, and they die before they fall. Pick up the axe. All right, I'm done. All right. Come on. It's your turn. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, which direction did they go? That way. They went <laughs> west. Oh, and, and he took my fucking sword. Okay. So, so okay, this way. So, do I need to fucking teleport? Well, they already shouted for help in the other room. I don't know, to get right. mouse stuff. Just let Mal get the stuff. Don't be wasting no teleports. Yeah, no, this is my problem. I did this myself. I'll, I'll clean up my own mess. <laughs> we need to make a hasty getaway. Come on, teleport us out. I can't. <laughs> Why okay, not? Because um, I fetched. Well, this, this is the maximum of the movement I can do, so I'd say, um, I think I'm just gonna, you know what? Behind the bookcase, and that'll yeah. be it for me. I didn't put any dynamic lighting on those, but those do provide cover and such. Yeah, I should hope so. So, yeah. Boom crash. Okay. One, two, three. She can, like, float over people, so can she just move four, normally? Yeah. Five. Also, she was, like, right at the front, so. Six. Wait, oh, it's 60 feet, so hold on. So that was 30. So you can go another 30. Damn it. And I can... You can't burn a misty step. I'm gonna misty step. Hold on, I'm gonna... Go a little bit further because I'm gonna say I use some of, like, 30 feet of that misty step into that movement, so movement is now 90 feet. There's a wide open passage, I just have a door there for, uh, my own purposes. Okay. Um, can I see this minion? You can. He's holding a sword. It's vibrating in his hands. Ooh. <laughs> um. Death? <laughs> they're here! The, pr the, the intruders, they're here! <laughs> he flies across the room. Uh, okay, okay, roll those other shots. I want to see how bad he's done. <laughs> you, you sort of uh, juggle his corpse with your Eldritch Blast as he lands in a smear on the marble floor in this other chamber. You hear lots of noise coming from the other room. The guy drops the weapon. You did 49 damage to one guy. He had one hit point. He's missing some limbs. He's... he's just missed. Oh, are you moving again? Yeah, I'm just gonna finish my movement and get to the doorway and be like... and just like... Goose is going to say... She got him. <laughs> but there's a lot more, so come arm to bear. Yeah, she got him. There's a lot more, though. Great. It's like this. This guy's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Cheers. Alright, it is Donatello's turn. Oh All wait, right. it's the top of the round, actually. I'd need to add a lot more people to the initiative. Oh boy. Alright, let's uh just add them all individually. 
Hey, as long as no one gets a 25. Actually, someone please get a 25 so that Donald Trump can see someone. Okay, then I'll reorder. Okay, so Donnie's still the top. That's good. Yay. Okay, proceed. Okay, Donald Trump really can't move much. I have a question. Is Donald Trump move speed uh, uh, 40 feet or is it like 30 feet? Like, it's 30 feet. Like, okay. It's hard to tell because it's a freaking weird monk. It would be 40 feet, but he, no, he's a turtle. Okay. Alright. Um, he's just gonna stand here and hide, I guess. Alright. Yamdal, last one out of the gate. I think. Her oh, wait. I think uh, only... Yeah, Maria's below them. Oh, okay. I mean, he'll come out. Probably. Just hide. Go around. Yeah, he's gonna go around the bookcase, at least to not be in the way. If he can make it over there, he'll just dash. So yeah, he'll find it. Matches. There, he'll dash. Yeah. Ooh, and he found a chair, so maybe he'll sit in it. Oh, that looks comfy. Right. We go over to a Tiefling's turn. Uh, rather, a Cambion's turn. Uh, they're gonna move over here. Cambions are such stupid creatures. Like, there's already Tieflings. Why they gotta be a thing? They're basically just like angels, but for devils. But they're bad versions yeah, they're of the, it. They're the origin for Tieflings. Yeah. Eh. Tieflings have, like, tieflings it's just like, like a. Breeds. Yeah. They're pure breeds. Ah. Yeah. Okay, they have fly 60 feet, so this is gonna be a different turn. Granted, yeah, I'm not that looks so good. sure if Mao's a actual tiefling or a full-blooded devil. A, oh no, are you even more special, Snowflake? A tiefling uh, wielding a hefty rensur uh, flies around the corner of this massive pillar and keens down uh, the tunnel at Boom Crash. <laughs> I was wondering when we'd get the chance to fight you again. Remember us from the sewers? You just barely escaped. I won't let the same mistake happen again. Baron, get ready! Cartoon uh-oh noise. <laughs> like zoinks! Uh, they're gonna rush towards you. They only need to get uh, within this range. Um, so let's do... Let's do a smite. I think that's what we want to do. Let's do... Blinding smite? Yeah. Let's do blinding smite. I just need to remember what it does. Okay, they cast blinding smite on themselves, uh, so they're concentrating on that. They're going to then make attack. Okay, a 28, I think, will hit boom crash. So you're going to take yeah. uh, 8 slashing and 3 fire. Then you're going to take an extra amount of damage. 3d8 radiant damage, which is 14. Then I need you to make a con save. Okay, updated my HP and con save. Oh, so that's what a Rancier is. Alright, um, that just barely does not make it. Um, yeah, that, I was just checking, they have two sets of saves, but, uh, they're both the same, and that does not make it. You are blinded as a flash of, like, fiery light comes out of their Ransor as it, uh, collides with you. And you can make a new save at the end of each of your turns, ending this effect on a success, otherwise it persists for a minute. Um, I have to go for a second. Uh, Maria's just gonna, she only has enough movement to go into the room. That's all. I'll be back. Right. Uh, oh, it's actually not their turn. This guy has multiple attacks. Yeah, they have a second attack. Okay, uh, that's a 20. This one will deal 15 damage. Three of which is fire. Then it becomes Mao's turn. To me? Yes, to you, Booncrash, sorry. Okay. So, 15 total? No, an additional 15, yeah. Okay, got it. Yep. Mal. Yeah, I'm running. Running? Away? No, toward. Oh, 
That's good. Why? You got no sword. I had other weapons. Yeah. <laughs> like the like fire bow. Blade. Oh, the <laughs> sun blade. I'm not gonna use a fucking fire bow against fucking devils. Uh, that's the one noise I don't have in my soundboard. A lightsaber. Lightsaber. Hold on, I have to do math again. Don't uh, use it enough. Thirty to here. Ten. Ooh, I can get right in front of uh, Boom Crash and go and attack that one. Yep, you slide under Boom Crash. Uh, they are both <laughs> flying in the air, but they're not that high off the ground, so you're oh. able to reach them. Good, as long as I can reach. You ignite your sun blade, and uh, in, in Jedi style, you leap up towards them, swishing the sun blade back and forth. That's gonna hit. Nice sneak attack, cause boom crash is there. Uh, boom crash is not within five feet of the enemy. Oh yeah. Fook. Well then, it's nine radiant damage. All right. Doesn't do any special damage to them, but it, they aren't immune to it. They also aren't undead, which is unfortunately the more specific one. Mm-hmm. They are a fiend. All right. Good for them. Uh, anything else, Matt? Nope, uh, I guess eyeballing where I can see my sword so I can go get it, but... Yeah, it's at the corpse of the guy on the other side of the room. Good, good, good. Right now it's just defending Mama Bird. All right. Uh, okay, what did Dan say Maria was doing? I'm moving into the room. I'm just gonna advance and uh, attack. One, two... Three, four, five, six. It's also yeah, not progressing turn order, so I'm curious well, about that. Well, in that case, just make, it, make her dash, because she needs to go toward the enemy anyway. Right. Um, going the same way that they went? West? Yeah. Everyone's going west, so... There, now it's moved. Okay. One, well, two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay, that's them dashing, so they're done. Okay. All right. Two, six. A second. It's just uh, okay. Good. They have multiple. I see that token. That's a big token. That's a big token. Yeah. I was just checking their movement. They do have forty foot movement speed. So they're going to I get all the, the way into the room. Uh, an ice devil. You have seen the likes of this before. A giant, frigid, insectoid creature with carapace that looks like pure ice uh, stalks into the room, wielding a icy rancer of its own. Though the API doesn't want to attach that token thing to them. Maybe it's stuck on the door. Oh, I don't like yeah. that. Where'd that come from? It walked around. Oh, it came around. from the other room. Either way, I'm sure it'll correct itself. He had to dash to get here. Let's see if there's any special bonus actions they can do. Nope. So they're done. <laughs> Just begin speaking in tongues under its breath. Uh, Big bug. Done. I do want to try and reset this API because it's not jumping to people like I want it to. Although the stream hasn't crashed, so, you know, count your yeah, blessings. That's yeah, that's an improvement. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's because the last few times I might have had Photoshop open while I was streaming, and I think my computer, that was what was causing oh. it to overheat. Yeah, it was a little chunky. A little, little chunky. All right, which one is this? Uh, does Photoshop take that much process? It yeah. sure does. It sure does. Like, 70% of your computer. <laughs> it's the It's one of the weightier of the Adobe programs compared to, like, Illustrator or something. And, you, and, like, an average person uses, like, a tenth of it. Okay. Um, this guy... Let's see here. That's a fun thing to do. I do that. Yeah, let's, uh, have them go one, two, three, four... Five, six, uh, and then they're going to look at Mao, and they're going to cast a spell. Let's cast this one. Uh, Mao, make an intelligence saving throw against Ooh. this mind whip that this mage is assaulting you with. Hey. Okay, you managed to resist the effect. Uh, I don't 
don't think it has a half effect. Target must make it and save. Successful save, the target takes half as much damage and suffers none of the other effects. Okay, so you're only going to take five psychic damage. But uh, I think the Intellect Fortress is still in play. Yeah. Uh, unless Boom Crash had a reason. Oh, did she roll her concentration checks? Uh, um, she didn't, she did I not. didn't. Hold on. Let me just make sure that it's even still in effect. Yep. So it's two checks. Uh, don't remember what the first amount of Up damage was. Up to one was. hour. So yeah. Okay. Um. Wait. Let's see what the checks are. You have a bandage sure. on it. Is it your thing? Is it what thing? Doesn't she have something that lets her have advantage on concentration attacks? Yeah, Warcaster. As well oh, as. okay, yeah. Then it's just a constitution save. Okay, let That's me add up the damage, hold on. Pretty low. That's, uh, what, uh, 11 plus 14 was, uh, 25. Half that is 12. 13, actually. So that doesn't make... Oh, wait, you have advantage. I'm stupid. Yeah, 18 is Yep. Okay, then the next one is just DC 10 for the second attack. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Good thing mm -hmm. you have advantage. You're able to maintain yep. that concentration. Uh, in which case, it's still in effect. Mao took half damage. They're going to take half again. You take three psychic damage. My nice, sweet bean, Mao. Uh, that's nice. Cool. Remember, uh, resistance to psychic damage from the Mind Fortress, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. That's, that, that's what I'm saying. She took half damage from the save and half damage from the Intellect Fortress. Yeah, Zumosu, it is your turn. Where did this ugly guy come from? Uh, um, he came from around. another door. Yeah. He came from the east. Could you could you help help out? I can't oh. squeeze by him, right? Uh, not easily. Because I want to get behind him so I can get the the flanking. Oh, that seems to be a tactical challenge that has been issued by the nature of this board. Shut the hell up, Chris. Would I would I be able to try <laughs> or? No. Mm, I'm gonna say there's not enough room there. All right, I'll just whack him. I'll just, I'll just do my whacking. I might have allowed it if he was like here, but he's like okay, here, so better. dodging into here would just be a wall. Dodging okay, into here would just be like bookcase. Is he immune to cold? Uh, I'm pretty sure, but uh, we'll see. No. What? Is he immune to fire? Is he one of those he's weird things? Yeah, he's immune to fire. Okay. Well, that's also good to know. Yeah, a lot of times, so like, it's one or the other. Where do you live? Yeah. On the coldest layer of hell. And you're not immune to it? No, it fucking sucks there. <laughs> it's hell. What do you think? They specifically put me there because it sucks. <laughs> God, I hate my job. I'm going to take it out <laughs> on you. Okay, they take full damage from your so effect. I was just damage. looking over their other... All these devils just want refuge in, like, the mortal plane because they're sick and tired of just, like, living in horrible temperatures. So hey, don't, hey, oh, hey, let's boy. not make them sympathetic, all right? <laughs> okay, second attack. That hit. Uh, absolutely, my friend. Cool. Um, that's a lot, no, cold a lot of damage. Okay. How much damage? Uh, 35 damage. It's good rolls. Right, a few hacks away at their armor and uh, their chitin or whatever sort of demonic armor they have uh, is starting to crack and crumble. I take a step here so I can give uh, Amon uh, help if he needs it. Um, that's it. Elena's actually, Elena's still invisible. She's just going to scout a little bit ahead over this way. All right. I, is there anybody over here? Yes. Uh, Crash and Mao are down there uh, fighting a floating cambion. There is a mage behind them uh, flinging spells. Uh, and I, can't blind. I can't see through Elena's thing, so I don't know where they're placed, but she could spit a fireball at the mage at least if he's 30. Well, it's, it's not a fireball, cone. it's a cone. Oh, no, it's I, I copy the thing. The, it's different. It's weird because it only targets one person. Uh, let me... It was an item from a while ago. It's just a target. It's not as powerful as I thought it was, but it's still useful enough. It's basically oh. just to spit up some d6 damage. Okay, so it's a, it's a single... Yeah, I think I might have made it more powerful than the actual thing, um, yeah. which is fine. It's it's not that bad. It's three charges of, like, essentially two d6, since dc13 isn't too bad. Yeah, that, that's perfectly adequate for familiar, especially. Exactly. But um, can I spit a 
basically spit a Yoshi fireball at the mage or how close do I have to be? Uh, it says within 30 feet, so go right ahead. Alright, so he just got to make a DC 13 deck save. They will. And she rolled almost minimum damage, so... Huzzah. Okay, okay so she t he takes four damage, and then she's just going to take two steps over this way. Okay. Well, they are resistant to fire, so they're going to take two damage. Okay. Boink! Boink! She literally just goes... Pfft. All right, there we go. She got right. two charges. Heronor's turn. There's an ice devil nearby in their immediate vicinity. I know it's hard for Booncrash to see from there. Oh, wait, actually, you should have vision of the... Because goose retainers, mm -hmm. I'm just saying like uh, Jay as a person should have vision. Yes, yes. Retainers get vision. That's why I couldn't see anything. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. I was also drinking tea and not paying attention, so that's on me. Chug, chug. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, that's a ranged attack. Do we know if this thing is um, necrotic? Like, it's immune to necrotic? Uh, I, I don't know. think you've tried that on it before. Amon's fists haven't made a test attempt yet. Okay. I'm afraid to punch it. I'm afraid of my hand getting frozen. That's a ray, and fucking Zumasu is sort of in the way, so... Protecting uh, my friend. She could also just take a step to the side. Yeah, she, you, she could just literally go one step But down. if it's a... Oh, it's a ray, not a cone. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blight Ray. I think this is... I'll have one left after this. Right. Uh, that is a 15 that does not hit. Damn. <laughs> the Blight Ray uh, whizzes past the Ice Devil's uh, many limbs that Paranor was sort of aiming for. The thing is much more dexterous than she anticipated. And the ray goes into a wall and corrodes effectively all the, the paint off of the wall. Ah! And they run back behind Donatello. Darn it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a controller issue. All right, this minion is dead. <laughs> All right, uh, another Cambion. Just, it's actually not in any of uh, your range, uh, I don't think, because of the pillars. But um, there is another warlock beyond here, and they begin weaving their own spells. Uh, let's go. Her. Two. Four. Six. Yeah, we can, because she can fly as well. So she'll go over here. Uh, let's hex Mao. Yay! She doesn't really require any save, so I'm just gonna put a little icon on you. Isn't that fun? And then she's going to uh, fly back. <laughs> <laughs> Hexed ya! And then she floats away. <laughs> uh, as she's leaving, a little moat of light flings off towards you. Uh, okay, it's a spell attack. Hold on. Which means you can end candy dodge it. Okay, uh, this is going to say fire ray, but uh, we're just doing it for the attack roll. Sure, sure, sure. It misses. Okay. I know Mao's more, more dexterous than that. All right. <laughs> um, cool, cool, cool. Unless uh, that's advantage, because that's a 27, but I assume not. I hope it's not advantage. No, no, it doesn't have advantage. Okay, okay. Hex doesn't give advantage, right? No, Hex just adds more damage. And oh. you choose one random ability check, and she gets disadvantage on that one. Uh, yeah, that's going to be dexterity. Rude. It's ability check, though, not save. That's I know. why it's kind of rough. Yeah. Great. Uh, they're done. Okay. Boom crash. It is your turn. Okay, dokie, and I'm blind. It's perfectly fine to run so away for the moment. Yes, but can I see through Goose and use his sight so that negates disadvantage? <laughs> uh, so you sort of can. I think it takes an action to assert that control, so you would need an action 
to at least start that. Okay. Can I use my move action for that and then still cast a spell? Moving is not an action, the Saint Pathfinder. Damn. Okay. Um. We try Pathfinder, we can do a few more shenanigans. Okay. I, I do so want to try I'm... Pathfinder potentially, but after this campaign. Yes, yes. If I. Hmm. I mean, you can still shoot things with disadvantage. It's just like, you know, you hear a sound. It's not like we're in a silent place now. No, that's true. Uh, But I was also thinking like, oh, but AoEs, I could do that as well and then run away. So... I wonder how you'd rule that. Because you have a general idea of where things are from your memory, Ah, but... Fuck it. Hell Knight Eric's eat my Eldritch Blast. Neat. All right. You start blasting. Um, so these are all made with disadvantage. Uh, they are still powerful. Um, I will okay. say, even though Mao is on the ground, uh, since you're blind, this might be providing some form of cover. But even with that, should hit most of them. He's Actually, the Hell Knight. What is his AC? Because I'm worried about his armor. Uh, their AC is 19. I'm adding plus two, which puts it at 21, so even those 21s at the disadvantage do hit. Okay. Whoop it up. Okay, so it's all but one hit. That's 20, 36 damage, and they get pushed back three sets of 10. So they're going to go one, two, three, four. Mage have to make a deck save? <laughs> uh, no. This guy's flying, so uh, they'll just kind oh. of like zoom off into the air. I'm going to put icons on them to show that they're flying. Are there little wings? Yep, they got little wings, so they uh, they kind of float up into the air as this is happening. Uh, that's the kind of power I want to fight against. Anything else, Boom Crash? Um, I'm gonna feel my way down the hallway and like sort of wedge myself in this corner for cover. <laughs> All right. I'm picturing a bird that's like you know how birds get like scared in hallways sometimes when they enter a building. <laughs> Yeah, and they huddle. They huddle in like the tiniest little space. Kind of like oh. flutter and stuff. Like, yeah. Just picture from crash, oh, like, no. <laughs> it's I got true, you. But oh no. <laughs> if you're in the corner, I'm going to put you over like uh, on the wall, up the wall almost. Uh, you can make a new save, by the way, at the end of your turn. Uh, and which one is this? Is this con? Con save. Con save to get out of blinding. Oh, nope. Dramatic musical sting. Five. Okay. Uh, You're still blinded. Move to Amon. Hey, buddy. I'm helping. Okay. um, I'm gonna risk it. Uppercut. That hits. That hits. It does deal full necrotic. Okay. And my fists don't explode into a billion ice shards. That's nice. Also, uh, it is... Are you doing stunning strikes on these, by the way? Uh, no. These things likely have high cons constitution, so I'm not going to even bother. Okay. Um, and your fists are magical? Uh, yeah. yes. Okay. Just wanted to confirm. Then we will take normal ass damage. So we'll do 14 damage for the first one and 11 damage for the second. Okay. And then, uh, let me just make sure I have my uh, final... Point. Uh, let's see. No, I have two. Two left. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm going to spend one so I can do flurry of blows. Take that, monster! Okay, so the first one, um, he needs to make a. Well, first one does hit. Uh, the first. Hold on, 18. Uh, 18. 18 just barely hits. That's their AC. Okay. Okay, uh, needs to make a. Uh, um, okay, I need to check because it's two different checks. Let me look. What are you doing? The uh, stunning? Oh, no, 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 not stunning. Uh, I'm doing the uh, flurry of blows, open hand. Oh, way of open hand. Okay, so um, dexterity saving throw. They have magic resistance, but this is not magic, so they just get a 22. Okay. Um, second one misses, so that doesn't mean anything. So, moving on. All right. Um... I'll give them the damage for the latest one. Okay. They are bloodied. 
their carapace is starting to wear away and your necrotic damage is starting to shed some of their skin revealing a sort of blue musculature beneath it squeals in pain and if there's no movement oh, we'll move on good to roll some decent dice no it's a blue lobster they're endangered no well okay. not anymore they're gonna become extinct gotta eat them i wonder if it would taste nice. good no we're not eating the bug devil all right, this mage is going <laughs> to pop out and... Uh, I don't know what poison is. It sees another Mao nearby. Oh, no. Looks like the way appears to be clear. Mm. Let's do a upcast mind whip at you. So let's do a... Say a fourth level. Make a intelligence save, Mal. Is Have advantage. Is the like fortress still up? Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. You crash hidden everything to keep it up. Yeah, you're good. Cool. <laughs> you're very good. All right. Uh, in that case, they are going to duck back here. Uh, you notice that they're, uh, they and the rest of the mages seem to be muttering something beneath their breath. This guy's going to make no. an arcana check. Okay. No. There it is. DC 20. Hey! Success. They have summoned a devil at their summoning chamber. <sighs> Yippee! An ice devil appears. It takes like three turns to kill one of them, goddammit. <laughs> sure does. But that's fine. We can leave these mobs until fine. we until kill the, the champions. Oh, Alright, they're done. Uh, okay, which one's this one? Doesn't want to advance. Okay, this one is kind of far away. Very small. Far, <laughs> far away. away. Not if they want to do anything necessarily. Yeah, they are just going to get out in here. They're going to ready in action. Uh, they're just stepping out into the hallway, but they're also going to do their check. I'm going to make an arcana check. Okay, they failed to summon another ice devil. And the last mage, it's kind of annoying that they're all going right after each other, because this can be game ending. Uh, interesting. This one's going to cast Invisibility on uh, the other Warlock Cambion that's flying over near here, and continue concentrating on that. They're then going to make their Arcana check. They failed to summon an Ice Devil this round. Alright, we go to the top of the round. It is Donatello's turn, though the Icon doesn't want to move to him. Okay. Uh... Whoa, it was, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if it'll work, but it doesn't want to. Okay. Um, well, no one's at the hallway, so... Okay. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to burn Dantelo's uh, final uh, shadow strike. Uh, and then just uh, shadow step and there's two mana attacks. I'm just going to do it. Donatello leaps out of the shadows from behind the Ice Devil, and does land a blow. It's always more with the lower damage. Why? More bludgeoning damage! Magic resist! Yeah. Two damage! Yeah, shut up. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Righteous! Let's get some pizza afterward! Yumdahl's turn. You had, you had your hot pocket. Mm -hmm. There's a calzone. Gets up from his comfy chair. Huh! Shoots. I suppose I should help. <laughs> Zooms past the ice devil. No. Whoa! Watch it, dude! Can you imagine a chair cursed? <laughs> forever. It's like, it's so comfy, though. It's so comfy, he never wants to get up. Ooh. Well, that's all you can do. I'll be over you. here! Curse of Lazy Boy. Alright. It is Hell Knight Addicts' turn. Uh. With the 
Crow out of the way. Let's soar over to Mao. <sighs> and do some attackies. Does a 19 hit you? No. Okay. Does a natural 20 hit you? Yes! Okay. Ooh. Oh. Uh, let's smite on this, actually. Oh, yeah. What? It's a paladin. Yeah, it's a paladin. Oh, no! Hell Knight. Okay, let's, uh, let's burn a second level spell slot on this and just do a normal ass smite. Um, because for them it's a bonus action. I mean, I would love to uncanny dodge, so just throwing that out there already. Oh, sure. I'm sure that you'll cannily dodge it. Actually, they can burn a third level spell slot, so we'll do that. <laughs> they still have one left. So, uh, that's, what, two and, uh, two extra slots, so that's four D8s. Um, yeah. so that's, uh, 32 damage, if it's maxed. I thought yeah. we were doubling. Oh, oh, yeah, we got rid of that, right? I don't remember. I, I think also we got played rid of the that Wednesday campaign, so it switches too. Yeah, and yeah. I think I last time, even though it was like two weeks ago, I think I said let's just double it so that we can do easier yeah. math. Okay, yep. then I can just click this again, and it should do that, and then I can just roll twice the dice, which will be this is nice. <laughs> it's nice. Okay, so that's uh, the fire damage is eight, halved. so that gets halved, so that's four. Uh, 4 plus 37 is 41. 41 plus 9 is 50. 58 damage. Halved all of that is 25 plus 4. 29 damage. So that hurts, but it could have been... It's a good thing you had your reaction. Hell Knight, Eryx, uh, flies towards you, and after narrowly dodging a blow, uh, they get a hefty one right down over your head, uh, and you've just barely managed to just divert it to your shoulder, uh, you tumble backwards as the knight uh, maintains their distance with you. <laughs> Just a simple half-breed. You can't possibly achieve what we have here. What do you say? Yeah, I think you're all shit, so I don't want it anyway. Fuck you, die. I'm gonna go and tag. You can't choose how you were born, peon. No way you can choose your own destiny. Although it seems to be a difficult thing here, apparently. Where's my blade? The oh, no. closer you get to the light, the greater your shadow becomes. Don't you dare bring in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Uh, 16 does not hit. Alright. Another inspiration. So... I don't know so if inspiration's gonna be useful, or if I can just, like, kind of bonus action to disengage. Do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah I'll go to section. Wouldn't be the worst. Hey, you got a half hour left, though, if you wanted to reroll. True. Spend fine. Some important save, so it's up to you. Fine. Yeah, no worries. I'm not gonna die. It's fine. I'll reroll. Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna go into a ring. You spend your inspiration. Ha! Huh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that does nice. land a blow. Just eight radiant, though. Blink. That is true. Now I will bonus action to disengage. After doing some suppressing fire, you wave the uh, the sun blade at the Hell Knight, uh, managing to cover your escape. You... Now, when you Can walk away, uh, oh. you well, you don't hear me say, uh, "Don't close the door." Please, oh baby. I did. I didn't touch it. That's fine. Maria's turn. Well, she's gonna she's gonna probably go attack this thingy. Let's okay. The, let's see. One, two, three. She can't really get. Can she actually get to it? Not particularly. She could belch fire at it. Yeah, but it has a thingy with fire. Who knows? She's gonna just attack it. All spear right. Spear by throwing. Ugh. Throws her blessed spear. Uh, and it ding, does not land. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's it. That's all she got. Oh boy, it's my turn! <laughs> Alright, calm down, Skeletor. I feel like they would have a voice like that. Kind of. That's why I sort of defaulted to it. Um, Alright, I just need to read a lot of stuff. I'm trying to skim it a bit. 30 foot long, 10 feet high. 
it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let's have them... Let's have them make a wall of ice right here. So I'm going to need Maria, Zumasu, and Amon to make dexterity saving throws. Okay, well everybody gets a bonus to it. What about Donatello? Not Donatello. Oh, it's, a, it's not a pulse. Okay. Well, I rolled poorly. Right. Uh, Maria got a 19. Yeah. Yep, thanks to your bonus, the two allies uh, succeeded at the save. You did not. Yeah, um, you're, you're being a very good MVP right now. Saves are useful. I just have bad decks. Okay. Uh, so they are creating a wall of ice using the spell of the same name. And it's going to create some panels. Here. Yippee. I'll just put them on the map layer. Alright. Uh, but when the uh, the wall appears, the ice or the air around it starts to rapidly freeze, and you guys have mere moments to jump out of the way. Zumasu kind of pushes uh, their allies free from the wall. Uh, let's see. It's 10d6 ice damage. Well, damage, rather. At least I have resistance. Oh, goodness. Hey, so that's 28, so you take 14. Everybody else succeeded, so they're going to take half, so they take 14 as well. Uh, Maria... Can't save? Yeah. Well, no, that's a spell. It's a um, spell? What level spell was it? So, Wall of Ice is a 5th level spell. Oh. Well, that's not good. And even though she saves, she's gonna be knocked on her ass. Half that on a successful save. Okay, so, uh, yeah, she's gonna take 3 health points of damage, which is enough to bring her down. I can see through the Wall of Ice, even though it's upright. Yeah, it's translucent. You can see rough shapes, but you can't, like, make perfect shapes. You know where Maria is. Would I be able to cast an ability or spell that targets her? Potentially. Okay. That's the important part. Alright, uh, the Ice Devil is done. That took their action. Uh, they're gonna... Actually, why do they need to back up? They'll just stay here. They've done what they needed to do. They've plopped you guys on different sides of the walls. Alright. We're gonna go to the other Ice Devil, as much as the screen doesn't want to move to them tonight. Still don't know why that is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, attack them! It moves into the room uh, and engages both Mao and Boom Crash. It'll stay here actually because it has enough reach to get to Mao and to the flying Boom Crash uh, from here. But it had to dash to get here, so it's done. Right, another mage's turn. This is the mage down here. This guy's going to attempt a arcana check. Okay, they did not summon another ice devil, so that's good. You guys. Let's have this one cast a little spell called Fireball, uh, right centered around now. So I'm going to have Mao, Booncrash, Goose, and Adelina make uh, dexterity saves. DC 14. Okay. I have uh, disadvantage on dex saves? No, dex checks. No, it's, you're fine. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, dex checks means if you try to do acrobatics. It's yeah. Thing. Oh, the Fravashi is going to go pop. Oh, let me check their DC. It is a DC 14 mouse, so you did just barely make it, which means you take Ooh. no damage. Uh, Boom Crash, it looks like, failed, as did Goose, as did the Fravashi. So that's yep. probably going to pop them. I'll do the dice roll, though, just in case. Roll a one. Roll a one, damn it. I rolled nope. a 20 died. Okay, so Mao takes no damage. Boom Crash takes 29. Goose and Alina pop. All right. <laughs> what does magic resistance do? Uh, uh, is it just advantage? advantage? Advantage on saving throws. 
super magic, so that still wouldn't have done it for you. Yeah. you had I'm wondering if I should use my um, inspiration. Maybe? It is getting close. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. Go ahead. That's okay. Try to use the updraft from the fireball uh, and use your wings to, like, hide yourself from it. And yeah, you works. do, it, it dulls the blow a bit, so you're going to take half damage. You only take 15 fire. The Ice Devil takes none, because it is immune. All right. Okie dokie. And this mage is going to duck out of the way in the other room, just to make sure that uh, he can't be attacked, so they can keep summoning Ice Devils. Zumasu, it is your turn, even though, again, the thing doesn't want to move to you. Uh, bonus action, um, healing light. Maria gets the pink to just stand up again. She don't okay. bleed out. They have one health point. Yay, I need to just mark that on the thing, and I'm gonna I'm just attack this Ice Devil. Uh, do I get flanking on him because Donatello's over there? Sure do. Okay, cool. There's a reason why I teleported. Yep. Let's go! Tanner's gonna retain. Both of those hit. Alright, and it's not immune to cold, so that's gonna be uh, 20, uh, 34 damage plus 26 damage. Alright, the Ice Devil's starting to wear itself down. Well, get worn down with your actions. Its life points are going down. I'm gonna just take a step this way. Come on, can scooch over if he wants. Um, yeah, that's about it. It was always stuff. allowed. You can fly. Although, it, I feel like it would be funny if the uh, carpet was stuck under the wall, just like in the old Aladdin cartoons or whatever. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's Paranor's turn. There's a wall in the way. But There's you also just saw things happening on the other side. A big explosion happened behind you. Yeah, I mean, Paranor's in a veritable war zone. <laughs> you could just head to the the west and see what's going on. Yeah, the I think it's like there's a wall in the way, so she's just gonna. One, two, three. What's four, going on? Six. That's as far as we can really get. Hold a, hold a crossbow action, why not? Yeah, Good. she can ready an action to. Yeah, or do the last ray, I think. So that's what she'll do. All right, can she hit anything from here? Not from here, but if the Ice Devil moves further oh, she's in. Reaction, so. She's holding the ray as the reaction. Okay, yeah. that's fine. It's not a spell, so it won't waste it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. it is Varen's turn. She's in the mysterious gray hallway. Um, they've finished casting their spells. Let's have them fly over to El Knight Eryx and provide some extra support. Ah, here we go. Ice Devil, can you move out of the way a bit? Um, and she's just going to launch some Scorching Rays at Mal, um, who is hexed currently. Mm. And they're going to use a Warlock spell slot to cast this. You do have cover from the Ice Devil, but the Ice Devil's not going to take any damage if it gets hit anyway. Alright, so, 5th level, Scorching Ray adds 3 more rays, so it's 6 rays attacking you. And each attack gets plus 1d6 damage thanks to Hex. Let's just do the rolls first. I'll just use the Fire Ray because it's still the same as her spell attack. All right. I... You lucky, you oh. lucky, lucky tiefling. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. None. She has plus eight and none of those hit. None of those got 12 That's and above. astonishing. It was meant to be. Oh. Only only one extra thing, like if, it, okay. if she had advantage, would have hit. No, because she's the one. She's the chosen one, remember? She's trying to believe. <laughs> I just now Matrix dodges all of this because she's dex based. Yeah, even the hex is like begging for these fiery bolts to fly towards you, um, but you're able to maneuver yourself uh, in between the Ice Devil and Warlock Varen, and uh, all of the blows land into the Ice Devil, which you're using as veritable cover. <sighs> Fine. She then fires another uh, moat of light that's floating around her. It'll be called Fire Ray, but... Oh, this one will hit, which is good, because this is the one that hurts. Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to be 4d12 cold damage. 
Holy oh. shit. Plus 1d6 from the hex. Okay, that's 34 damage. Uh, new turn, uncanny dodge. If you had a new turn, you can have this. It is a spell attack, so this will fall under uncanny dodge. So you're going to take half of 34, 34 which is uh, 15, is 16, 17. 17, okay. I'm at one inch, pretty. <laughs> wow, that was I the luckiest. The that might be the luckiest turn that has happened in the history of games. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Varen's done. Uh, she can't go back as far as she did, but she will fly out of range like to prevent counterattack. But yeah, that's the power of a warlock with a lot of attack rolls. Yeah. Moon crash. Mm. I'm sure you're familiar with this concept. It's your turn. Yes, yes I am. Um Oh, to use a paladin and a warlock against our party of a paladin and a warlock. So Boom crash is How would an AoE work if she's blinded? Because kind if it says a location you can see, you cannot do it. Okay. Fuck. So, is there anything that you have like that explodes from yourself? Um, the dragon's breath would probably warrant that. If Goose can see, uh, Goose is dead. <laughs> oh, Goose right, has been Goose popped has. by an AOE of their own. Yeah, we're having a bad time here on that side. Yeah, they yeah. sort of have like a fortress in this other room, and they're just sending their minions into this room where you guys have been trapped. Oh, another Mao. Duplicitous indeed. No, because it wouldn't update my thing. Oh. Remember I'm at put a, one. Remember to put a hex on yourself. I know. That, I was, know. that wasn't a death ward, that was a hex. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll put this on you to distinguish it from Lamont's death ward. Looks more pertinent that way. It looks hmm. like death. Okay, what do I got? Not a lot what I got. Just remember that it's not a lot. Uh, how's Wall of Forest? Is that a seeing thing? I was actually just reading that. It doesn't look like it. Bubble up that hallway and run. You can always bubble up yourself as a protection thing, because whatever, whatever gets stuck near you gets shunted to like one side. It does say a point you choose. Doesn't mean yes. you need to see it. That does not mean you need to see it. So you can totally yeah. do that. So I was thinking about gerbil balling the presence in front of me and blocking the doorway at the same time. Okay. So gerbil ball that dice devil. We will do so. Yippee. You did it. Yay. <laughs> And I'm outside of it, so I'm also going to sort of feel my way <laughs> around. Okay. I'll, I'll call you. Be like this, this way. You, this way. <laughs> there we go. And go over here. Um, still kind okay. of like easing my way along the wall. It, um, and another con save. It's end I guess of my it turn. doesn't provoke an attack from the ice devil because you technically have bound it up, so I mm -hmm. think you're good. You can attack the wall. <laughs> it did make sure that it was like 10 feet away from you, because it's using its pokey stick. So... Mm -hmm. Alright, you're safe. Amon's turn. Uh, oh. Can I see? Oh, hold on. Oh, maybe. It was a 14, right? Uh, okay, this is from Eric's. I need to check their yeah, it's a blind save spike. through. Because the mages have DC 14. Nah, sight is not important. You don't need to find but that. But Eric's has DC 15, which is just barely enough. You can see again. Whew. Nice. That's good. Didn't want to have to oh, remember Oh, now that. you look like hell. <laughs> it hurts. I'm you also cold. are just like, where's the rest of the party? You just see a giant ice wall. <laughs> I dodged six attacks, but the seventh one's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky number seven, you know. All right. Oh, um, went from fire to cold. It is a monster. Okay, first one hits. If you yep. if you had a step over, you would have had flanking. Does a seventeen hit? No, he has flanking anyway. Okay, cool. Does a seventeen hit? Yeah. Uh, 
No, like 18 was the record last time. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so uh, I need to spend a key point. Uh, my final key point is to flurry of blows. I wonder if the ice wall actually goes away when this. God damn it! <laughs> nice Fuck! Guy. Yeah. Actually, you know what? There's only 10 minutes left. I'm gonna spend the inspiration. No. No. It's not worth it. <laughs> Today I accomplished like two, I think one, like two hits. That's my entire accomplishment for the night. I'm all right. I'm almost convinced Amon like thinks that he trained as a monk, but he really just closes his eyes and then just goes. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> At this just point, yeah. Hopes that a wild blow lands on like a stunning area. All right. Uh, jokes aside, your blows miss. The ice devil remains somewhat injured from your first blow, but they managed to resist the rest. He's resisting the rest! Alright, it's some mage's turns. I wish that it would drag people, but it does. there seems to be some sort of error with this macro. Uh, not macro, this mod. Uh, it's probably been updated recently, and it doesn't like the update. Mm. Alright, let's have this guy go in through here. Uh... We see a Mao. Let's see if we can finish off with a bang. Right here. Yeah, let's uh let's do this one. Let's just do a magic missile. No! Bye Mao. But it, can it make it through the thing? Yeah. Yeah, they can see it. The hemisphere is invisible. Yeah, the hemisphere is invisible, but is it penetrable? It's a. Uh, I think it gets cast outside of it. Oh. Hold on, you you might be right here. Mm. I, uh, I'm perfectly willing to be wrong, but it's that was part of the intention was that it would be. Okay, so what I'm there are say, definitely spells that can do that though. Where you nothing can, like, can cast physically pass through the wall. Yeah, so if it's like a, it's literally a wall there. That's why I was like, yeah. There are spells that can, pa like, cast outside of it, so it just depends. Creature choice in your range, 120 feet. Okay, it's going to hit a creature that I can see within range. Yeah. It's going to take the long way around. Oh. <laughs> okay. It goes over the uh, the wall of ice in the other side of the room. It doesn't reach That's to the ceiling because it's only 10 feet. Haha, <laughs> looks like you're on the wrong side of the hemisphere. Do you hear a whistling sound? <laughs> <laughs> no! No! You just, like, try to dodge your, like, running around the room as the thing, like, <laughs> continues to follow your way around. Stop! Stop it! Oh! oh. Then you get hit it's by two more missiles. It's just a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You get hit with two more missiles. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So two, two deaths. It's not deaths. melee though. So, but it's two death saving yep. throws already pinged. Yeah. So you have two failed death saving throws. This is actually awful. Oh god damn it! This is why I have the ring. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure is. The mage you just want to take it off. No. The mage does a little fist thrust. Yes. And then they go running into hiding. Uh, they're then going what, to. What is uh, he? An eighties villain? <laughs> Uh, they're then going to make an arcana check. They summon another oh, ice devil. Fucking damn. Fucking shit. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Need a wait, banish. Do you have banish? Just banish these fuckers. Banish all of them? There's like three now. We're we're kind of in we've kind no, of been the problem. We can do space. all three. This guy's taking a taking like three turns of chunkin though. Well, because I can't fucking hit anything. Right. Yeah. It's another mage's turn. Uh Although the one was concentrating on invisibility on the warlock, they have since broken that, and as we saw, advantage didn't matter. Uh, so this guy's gonna probably go around here, try to provide some support in this room. Oh, actually, we don't need to get all the way over there. We can see Donnie. We'll just pop out here. Leave Turtle alone. And since they saw the success of it before, Let's do another magic missile. Just hit Donatello and reduce his health points. Yippee! 
they're gonna head over here. They're gonna see if they can't summon another Ice Devil themselves. They cannot. Final Mage. Uh, let's do their Canna check first. They also cannot summon another Ice Devil. But they're gonna come around the side here and knock down Donnie with another magic missile. Christ. Those playful little mages. Wait Those minute, little scamps. It was over here, right? <laughs> yes. Can a, look, because of Dantello and Amon's visions are shared, I are from the Can Amon see? Definitely not. The corner okay. of the wall is here. Okay, understood. Just wanted to make sure. Right. Moving on. Donnie goes down. Uh, since that was a health point, we're not going to say like the multiple missiles are going to do Donnie in, because it's presumed that it took the whole spell to take that chunk away. Yeah, um, one, one effort. One, one spell hit. for one health point type yeah. thing. Okay, we go then to Donnie's turn, where Donnie must then make a death save. Alright. Not righteous! Righteous! <laughs> Donnie it gains a health point. <laughs> Oh my god. Donatello, are you okay? He pops out of his shell. <laughs> yeah, dude. They just he's got like, the shell. He's like, the show's not cancelled yet. We still got <laughs> five more seasons. <laughs> Looks like this is the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Anyway, uh, Donnie, uh, is there anything you want to do with this turn oh, that you've been yeah. granted? Uh, I'm going to stand back up and... Uh... Whack, because nothing I can do. Get out of my way, Ice Devil! Guess I'll like, keep uh, whacking. Oh, oh, hold on, uh, can I say I use my dagger? Because that is a magical thing. Oh, that's true. So. Uh, yeah. So, um, it is a magic I mean, weapon, you're just not attuned to it, so it just yeah. is acting like a plus three dagger. You can't cast the spells. Yeah, so it is a d4 because it's a dagger, and then add plus three to hit or whatever. Yeah, it's but, only a 12, okay, but it's like I gave a them an action. If you wanted to use that instead, uh, I don't see it, but don't worry about it. It's not on their macros; it's on their sheet. Okay. Um, okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's gonna. It's automatically missed. All right. Yamdal's turn. There is a wall in between them and the Ice Devil, and there is a dying, almost dead Mao over in the uh, west hmm. side of the room. Panic, panic, circles. Let's see. Wait, he's got how much movement? 30, he's or a, 25. Because he's a dwarf. Yep. Fucking dwarf with his tiny legs. I'm stout. Can't even, he can't even run to me. <laughs> He'd have to dash and then do nothing. Well, yeah, you kept him back there near the chair. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it's my <laughs> fault. That chair is so comfortable. It's a cursed chair. Didn't we already say so? <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. I mean, he really can't hit much, so I Maria, guess moving this Maria, direction to help. Just metagaming a little bit, Maria doesn't have a way to help you. This is fine, but he can't do much by attacking through the ice wall anyway. So he'll dash this just way. Just circle around. Like, you know, obviously staying here is not doing anything. Alright, Yamdal rushes around and uh, points his, his bow at the ice devil. Oh, don't worry, I got this thing! Uh, you, you inform him that there's a force field there. Yeah. Alright, it is Hell Knight Eryx's turn. Um, they probably are smart enough to at least intuit that you've cast some sort of force field here, as the Ice Devil is, like, ramming into it, and you were able to escape so easily. Um, they're gonna find another way around. Six. Five, six. Okay, they are flying around this way. We don't need to get all the way there, so we will just fly, like, over here. Just hang out. Right, it is Maria's turn. Alright, I just need to double-check the distance here. 30 feet, she gets to... She still has the charges of Rally and Cry! And Mao's within 30 feet. Yamdal apparently is going to miss out. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed chair placement. I'm also going to miss out, but that's not why she's using So we, we agreed retainers all get an extra health point, and then I roll for the PCs. 
right? Uh, and that's curious. How do temporary hit points work if you're at zero? Uh, um, so I think it just still works. Yeah, I think it just brings I, them up and like just temporary chills. hit points is just a eight hit points that's not permanent. It can go on top. Like it's still hit points. It's yeah, just, it just doesn't it, stack. Explicitly stated in the rules, temporary hit points. Uh, player's handbook 198. If you have zero hit points, receiving temporary hit points doesn't restore you to consciousness or stabilize you. No, oh, okay. You oh. cannot rally a dying person from death. Damn. It cannot hear you. But I will let you uh, take a new decision if uh, you you would have known that. Um, I mean, it is a healing burst either way. Because she can't get past the ice wall. Because her javelin's on the other side. Yep. <laughs> I forgot about that. Maria just she... attacked the ice wall. I threw my weapon! Although, she could do commanding strike to make me attack. So, yeah, I guess that, that would be, be the worst That would thing. probably be the best thing. Yeah, okay. We'll do that instead. Because if you so, guys can get clear of... That ice, ice devil, down at least. you can go and beat up all the mages on the other side, because they're just a bunch of nerds, and they probably take one HP, but they're just annoying. Yeah, but I also need to go over there to, to, to heal yeah. you. Um, yeah. yeah, so she's gonna do um, commanding strike, which means she can't attack, but I can attack. She bangs on the ice wall. Zumasu, hit it! Finish it! <laughs> she attacks the ice wall with a fist to complete the, the A 20 macro. hits, right? A 20 does hit. Okay, he goes down. Well, you don't know that. Um, he looks... Uh, he was bleeding, I hope... How much damage down. did he take? He took 29 damage. That's not he goes down. Thing. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's yeah, a decent yeah, chunk yeah, of damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say that. <laughs> I knew he was on his last leg. Is the ice wall still stupid up? Uh, no, it is not. I'm... Oh, the concentration thing. I th th think so? Let me check. Yeah, I have I'm other ice up. devils I can check. Because the people that can revive Mal are on the other side of the damn wall. I mean, I could teleport, just saying. Yeah, yeah, but we're already going to have a... We wall might lasts have to for take one minute episode. or until the devil is incapacitated or dies. Ah. So it doesn't require concentration, but it does go away when they die. Okay, that's with them. That's just a supernatural. I'll save one of these blocks in case we ever use it again, because there are multiples. She is going to run over here anyway afterwards, because why not? So she's got here. All right. Mal's in trouble. But right, we're gonna. Finish him, Masu. You need to help Mal. We're gonna finish up this round and then we will end it for the night. Uh, this ice devil cannot move. He is trapped. That is the one whose turn is next. Um, who is this mage? This mage is this conniving little fellow uh, who still has Mal's weapon hostage on the other side. Um, in fact, scamp. they might just go grab it. No. It's an item interaction. They. Might as well. So they're going to grab it. Um, they're going to then... Blast a magic missile at Yamdal. It flies around and deals one health point of damage to Yamdal. The mage then goes over here. And is going to try and summon another ice devil. They did. All right. Uh, there's now three ice devils in play. Let's go to Zumosu's turn. Okay, I have to look up stuff. Because it's, I think it just is within sight, but I need to see if it's an actual space. Da -da -da. And looks like Paranor is going up after this. All the way down. 60 feet. Okay, I can mm -hmm. definitely get to there if I move. Take two steps this way. Now get up. Here's a d4. <laughs> You're not dying anymore. Is it plus anything or just d4? It's just a d4. Right, let me double check. It actually might be a d6. Yeah, I thought they were d6s. Yeah, I think actually they're d6s. Healing word is a d4. 
Yeah, your it's a ability D6. is a D6. It's a D6 without any pluses, so hold on, it could be less or more. Mm. I'm it's sorry. Less. I'm sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. It's one of those days. Um, okay, so I use up with a massive migraine. <gasps> what do I see if I go over here? Let's see. Uh, I can see over here. How far away is he? He'd have cover, right? Um, yeah, they have cover at that point. You'd have to, like, get at least in the hallway. That's fine. I still am going to probably drop axe, shoot, and pick up axe, so... Eldritch Blast. I don't like that person. Okay. With the cover, uh, they have 21 AC. Well, I got plus 11 to hit. That's a 50-50. Go ahead. Uh, where's my thing? Yeah, okay, half it hits. So it's 50-50! Yeah. What are the odds? 26 damage. They take 26 damage. Ugh! They duck behind the pillar to deflect the rest of the blows. Stop hurting my friends! Uh, the other warlock. I'm not Righteous a warlock. bastard. I'm not a warlock, well, I just took a gift from a patron for a fee! Oh, that shit. means I gotta help people for... Oh. Yeah, maybe. Uh. <laughs> curious. Anything else, Imasu? I used all my movement, I used all my actions. I literally used everything I could do. Paranor's turn. Anything else after bringing back Mao shooting a guy? <laughs> yeah, Mao's alive. Paranor <laughs> was running over here to help, but... She she has one hit point if you wanna if you have a potion, but if you don't, then do something else. Um Paranor doesn't have a potion. Boom Crash does. Hold on. No, can't make it. Sorry. Well, hold on. Don't no step on me if they can get to me. Yeah, but oh, they okay. need to dash, I think, to get there. Mm. Okay. Paranor can sort of move to here. Um, That's right. They do have 30 feet. Okay. She... I mean, item interaction, take a potion, action, give potion. If you want to do that. Yeah, that's what I was sort of thinking. So it's like... It's put a hand in Boom Crash's bag of holding, get a healing something, and then slap it on Mal. Okay, what type of healing? Um, Zon Mao. Oh, beautiful, delicious potion. Uh, one of the last uh, greater healing gems. Sixteen hit points to Mao. Oh. We definitely gonna need to take a short rest after this. Perhaps, if you can rest between the Ice Devils, infinite uh, pro progress towards you. Yeah. Yeah. No, we I meant after we take care of all these guys. It's gonna be a bad time. Alright, another ice devil is going to start moving in. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Here they come! Uh, they had to dash, so they're done. It's Warlock Varen's turn. He needs uh, to stop blocking the freaking hallway with his fat ass! <laughs> <laughs> they sure do! The Warlock, can they get to here? They can just barely fly there. Yippee! All right. Uh, we'll have the hex move on to Zumasu. I think that seems like a good idea. I mean, she's not up yet. She thinks I'm dead. Yeah, uh, hex hex wears off when the target dies. Oh, okay. Or gets knocked out. That's the whole. So she thing. knows I died. Kinda, yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird when it comes to PCs, isn't it? I'd assume you'd go by unconscious, she can choose to move it again. Would make the most sense. Okay, then we'll fly with that. Uh, Zumasu, you are hexed. Alright, what's the ability check I have disadvantage on? Uh, I'll say strength. That's fair. Can't grapple nobody now. She's gonna cast Scorching Ray, using a Warlock spell slot. She got disadvantage because of my armor. Okay, well she has disadvantage. And so none of those hit. The, even the 21s? I guess... Oh, wait. Uh, one of them's a 21. Yeah, let me double check the 21s. I, you know, I have 22. Yep, I'm good! Okay. Good armor is good! She's then going to fire a bonus action. Okay. That one doesn't hit either. 
You just see me pinging things off with my shield and my axe. Like, stop your bullshit! <laughs> Ducking behind your shield, uh, she flings several rays of fire <laughs> into the room. Um, and then fl- follows it up with a starry little moat of cold uh, that just kind of freezes up your shield for a moment before the shield resists it. She's done. Boom crashes turn. It's a lot of Y'all people until it's the end of the round. Y'all aren't real knights unless you have good armor. Yeah, this is challenging. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do that. I wish we had fireballs, fireball beads. Um, it doesn't I was work on ice doubles. Fireball, which oh, ignores the damage resistance. Mm. That's a bit nicer. I like that. Can you even get over here, though? Yeah, yeah they have 60 foot fly. Feet. Oh, that, that's nice being able to move quickly. Mooncrash is kind of operating on the same uh, sort of meta that these cambions are. Mm-hmm. I got higher AC, so that's my benefit. So, what are yes. we doing? We doing the Hellfire? Yeah, Hellfire Ball. Dark Fire. Um, but centering it around these guys, so... That hits uh, some people off the scenes as well, so, uh, that's fun. That's good. I like that. That's a good plan. Uh, It hits hits two mages and two of the ice devils, plus the two cambions, and Hellfire breaks through their regular immunity. Mm Mm-hmm. Great. Let's do some deck saves. The ice devils remember when they get punished back at home. They're just like, Asmodeus is here! The thing moved. Hold on. There we go. Ignore the acrobatics check in there. Okay, let's go and process it. Um, I'm just backflipping for no reason. (laughs) uh, So the warlocks and the devils do have magic resistance, so they will have the advantage on these. Let's see. Uh, So, what is your saving throw? Uh, 24. 24. Okay, yeah, I forgot that (laughs) <laughs> That's stupid ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay, roll, uh, what is it, 8d8? Yep. 36 flat damage to all of them. Yay! We finally did something that is good. We'll say that the mages are still alive, but they only have four hit points left. God damn! but good job, Boomcrash. You're welcome. Um, does it do any damage to the circles that I can't really see? Um, not particularly so, no. Okay, worth a shot. Yeah, their circles are particularly sturdy. Okay, anything else for you, Booncrash? That was an action. Moving past with that. Great. A Mon's turn, then. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, to the center of the hallway. Everyone is everyone is within range, um, so I'm gonna do mass healing word. Everyone basically uh, gets one d four plus uh, five. Uh, so uh, seven hit points for ev- everyone. Okay, what level spell is that? Uh, spell level is three. Cool, so the retainers get a big chunk. They do, even though they technically got seven hit points, but, you know, yeah. whatever. Hey, I mean, abstraction. the, the trade off is your spells auto hurt them, but the trade off is our spells heal them a bit better. Yeah, yeah. It, it bounces out. Yeah. Okay. They wouldn't be at one if they didn't auto fail shit. <laughs> Anything okay. else? That was your bonus action. Yeah, actually, um,. Could I reverse the order? Could I just do uh, Total Dead on before going and do a Yeah, that's fine. I will do a Wisdom save for them. They do have advantage. Okay, the okay they dead? succeeded with a 25. Yeah. Okay, that was mine. Uh, Alright, moving on. Just a little check. Alright, it is all the mages' turns. They are all in this mysterious gray area down here. Let's see which ones go where. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I do need to make checks for these mages, actually, because they were concentrating. Oh, shit. It was 36 damage, so it's, a what is that, 18? It's DC 18. That's pretty bad. 
they're gonna, they're gonna fail. They did. Okay, so these two mages down here have lost the ability to summon Ice Devils. That was the thing that could also knock them off from being able to summon Ice Devils. So two of them cannot do this anymore. Two others still can. Let's have them do <sighs> some checks. Okay, we summon another Ice Devil. So that's there's, fun. there's too many Ice Devils in this damn place. Hey man. Told you what was summoning them. Yep. Try to get to them. And then you they walled it off and you helped. Yep, yes I did. Alright. Um it was better. This mage is going to go over here and uh let's blast Yomdal with a third level magic missile. Let's put him back at one. Cartoony shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna go back into hiding. And this mage is the one that almost died. It can't summon anything anymore. Uh, it's just going to hop out over here behind this ice devil and launch a fireball into that room. Uh, boom oh, I don't like that. Oh, you don't like that? I don't the like that. You don't like that? What are you going to do about it? I can't do anything because yeah. I used my ring charge and I'm holding my axe again. Oh, okay. Uh, Wait, are they within my sight? I'm going to have to go with no because of the corner of the wall. That's fair. The corners are at the base, unfortunately. It's just mm -hmm. angled like yeah. that for... Yeah. Nope. So that's yep. that's yep. okay. Nope. That's how it goes. Brownie, terrible in a dungeon. All right. Uh, deck saves from Donnie, Tsumasu, and Boom Crash. Okay. I'll get my bonus at least. I'm, I'm just helping by standing here and getting hurt. I just like being here, folks. Okay, I get, it's magical though, right? So I got a 17. Absolutely, but it's a success. All of you succeeded, so you're all going to take half damage. So what level's a fireball? Uh, third level. So does Donnie take two or one? Uh, he takes two. Okay. I take five damage? Because it's reduced and reduced again? That is accurate, yes. That is a ridiculously low fireball roll. Uh, maybe Anybody they should stick else? to killing or summoning ice devils. All right, Anybody the last else? mage's turn. Sorry. Nothing. Boom crash only took nine, right? Yes. Yes, correct. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sort of. Don't forget, top of the round is at fourteen when Maria shows up because my uh, token disappeared after I put a new one in. Oh. Also, by the way, guys, it is twenty minutes after. Yeah. I know. Okay. Uh, this is the last round. Uh, they're gonna cast another fireball it's in mostly here. Mostly all them just yeah, throwing mage shit. Is doing, this is his last turn. Yep. Then he's gonna end. So uh, everybody that uh, made those saves before, make them again. Oh, Donatello goes down no matter what. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go through the motions anyway. I think we all made it again. Yeah, you did. So did half damage, uh, fifteen for boom crash. Donnie's down. Uh, then Zumasu takes eight fire damage because of the half half again. Okay, it is now the top of the round. Allie, do you have a? Can you just hit the? Actually, yeah, yeah. I can do it for you. I can do it for okay. you. Okay. Okay. What was your initiative before? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, I'll put you where you belong. Set it to fourteen. All right. Cool. We're done uh, for tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out and watching. Uh, going to send us to on out, outro screen. Um, right. Outro spiel. Uh, you can watch this stream normally on Sundays from 9 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time. Uh, sometimes we go a bit over like this time, but it's fine. Uh, you can also watch our sister stream on Wednesdays uh, from 7 to 10, The Rime of the Frost Maiden. And uh, find my books on Drive Through RPG. Uh, support me on Patreon slash Noble Crumpet and join us in the Crumpet ki Kingdom in the Discord. And with all that, let's go raid somebody. So stick around for the raid. I'll stop the stream, but the raid should still send people on. Uh, good night, everybody, and be sure to kill the mages. Ugh. They're just generally bad. And, and that's true in life as well. Just kill the mages. Kill the wizards. All Burn that the stuff. witch. Burn the witch. Yep. <laughs> that's true. They're real. Destroy them. That's not true. It's just, okay, I'm going to stop the stream now.